Office Podcast. on the Pharaoh though I mean we tried to get him on the on the pod um maybe another time when, when shit work out I don't know how this nigga couldn't really record his shit that that shit threw me off but yeah it ain't his fault one day we gonna be up we gonna have it all together so that way we can fucking you know just add just, just patch people in and shit like that yeah it was my impression that the nigga was an artist so I just thought he was always recording even but on that, his phone that, type shit <laughs> but that's the whole thing like that's what I'm thinking. That's how I'm thinking. I'm just like, you you yeah. make music. You get should have something like. Some but way I think to he's one of those rappers time. that only goes to the studio. I mean, you shit. know them niggas. It's yeah. certain niggas who are only like they they don't rap unless they at somebody house studio or they like at the studio. But I had a yeah. little bit of shit to say. Like while I was listening to Fifty Four, it was just like. First of all, off top, I'm going to just come at you straight, bro. You need to talk to different bitches, bro. I mean, women. And I, it's fucked up because I wrote women in the notes, in the uh, show notes. It still the said bitches it. just flew out uh, my mouth because I, I chose to say that shit. But like, I'm crying. I, I apologize. That's the one bitch I get to say this whole episode. <laughs> Funny as but nah, shit. it was like... You got to talk to certain women if you want to do what you want, how you're doing it. And it's like how you go at it. And this ain't this ain't for this pod to be an extension of that pod. It's more for this pod to be like kind of like just off the heels of that joint. That shit was oh. so hard, but it was like I still missed certain shit you were saying. I miss I miss certain shit you were saying and I didn't kind of fully explain certain shit. I just like I, I I remember being like you the way you were like the way you you would just come straight at people like that and it's like I'm still like that but when it come to girls I done switched up and learned how to get them in a position where they're gonna listen to me before I start doing it you see what I'm saying and it's not for but how you know they listening though because nigga my words move mountains nigga and I watch them go where the wind blow and I'm blowing the wind. What, what if they just acting like they listening and they just want to well, disagree with you? How you, you, you think it too hard? You ain't even listening to everything <laughs> I'm saying right now. How you I know, know you're going. How does that I make know. sense? You ever had a girl listen to you? But just the thing, a girl can act Have like you she ever had a girl? You. No, you keep so talking. She, Have you ever had a girl listen to you? I don't know. I don't know. Exactly. I know because I it's happened before. So you gotta you gotta it, 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 it comes from. Commanding their attention, like I said, you I don't can try to have nobody listen it. to me. Listen, like, bro, you, you ain't you're ahead. not listening, bro. I'm still trying to explain what I'm saying. You can you can do shit the way you do it. You can command their attention. You can be a hundred percent real with women, not the women you talking to. And I told you this shit on the phone. It's like the girls I chose to go at, cause I done did it, and then they fucking I done had girls like mm hmm mm hmm just to get me out their face. And then I had other girls was like. They freak out and they don't even say nothing. They run away. Then I had, I know who to approach because when I go to her, she thinks she tough shit until I'm tough shit. And then she shutting the fuck up. And then she on me. Like, she on me. It's like, I did it. I did it that one time and now she my little dog. No, this is so fucked up. But she following me around. 
she following me around and she's sitting and rolling and doing tricks like on command and it's not even like I, I'm really trying at this point. And it comes from that first impression and that first impression means the most and it's like you gotta just stick to your first impression throughout the whole time you're dealing with her and it gotta be that type of girl because you can't deal with one that's like scared but she like she want to be scared. It's girls who are scared, but they don't want to be scared, bro. They can't wait for somebody to snatch them up and just tell them, tell them, tell them what it is, like it is, and then they, then they willing to ride. But the problem is, those bitches be so. Those women. Oops, I did it again. They be so Fine. clingy, bro. It's so clingy. Oh my god. I don't even want to talk about that. But I just wanted to get that out there. I just wanted to tell you, like, I feel like you really gotta just. I don't. I, I feel like I like you even said it. The girls you be talking to, they ain't the ones that's for you. You know this. That's my point. It's like you yeah. know they're not your, your 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 type. And then it all you all they doing is making you more. Uh, what's it called? Uh, it's making you more uh irritable w- uh, with with women in general because you just sick of all the BS. And in reality, it's some women who like they love to to be. BS is just as much as they love stopping that shit and it's because they only stop it for a certain nigga who gonna make them stop it like and they yeah. wanna stop it for him you know what I mean I'm trying to tell you bro I'm trying to tell All you right. cause I'm the listening. reality is they go right back to how they was when they before they met you as soon as you stop fucking with them and that's because they waiting to be caught again like I'm telling you they like that thrill like they like that shit like they want you to be mad at them in real life, not get mad and, and emotional and walk away. They want you to uh, get mad and tell them what you saying, what you thinking. Like, yo, you on some bullshit. Like, nah, fuck, stop. You got me fucked up. I'm the goat. You, you. It. It's <laughs> girls who respond to that. Like, they respond to that. Like, they want that uh, type of shit. But like I said, they be clingy and then off top, they be freaking... They but do you, be, you they right have a large they're... capacity for that shit. So it's like they be they might even be the the first girl to cheat on you type shit because they fucking want they always want that. You know what I mean? Once they get used to you, sometimes it's like it don't work no more. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. it's like if you ain't willing to keep up in your game like that, I don't know no nigga who got that much energy, bro. <laughs> so, but that's the thing though, like yeah, you, like you just say, you don't know nobody that got that much energy. I don't got that energy. Like it's just like but that's why I was telling you. That's why I was telling you the best way to do it is to just stop going about it how you going about it and get some finesse with it. Just re, like change up your whole way you go at it because once you change that up, you can get any any girl. You know what I mean? I feel and then, uh. Um, I don't know, bro. Yeah, I mean, shit. That's I, that, it. That's the main thing I had. But it's episode yeah. fifty five, and I I real life wanted to get back to our conversation we had last night. That was so good, bro. Oh yeah, uh huh. Facts. Well, yes. I guess the best way to get back to that is like just to start off with Issa Gold. <laughs> or or what's, he, what's his name? His name's Solace now. Oh, but, um, Solace. Bro, you still, ain't, you you still ain't heard his new album? I didn't. So I'm, I had I'm it a, pulled I'm up. A, I'm gonna I'm 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 go to this joint because, bro. Marlon. He re- this is the reality of that, that whole situation that I see from the outside looking in is that that It's, it's like, before, we, I didn't know it, but a lot of the people in the Beast Coast, you know, little militia, they got some insecurity problems, bro. Like, yeah. very deep insecurity, not feeling good enough type problems. It's like, like but that shit hard to believe. And it's not hard to believe, it's, but it's but just that's like, why I said it's so hard to believe because these are the dudes who taught us to believe in ourselves. Yeah, like, they, like you know what I'm saying? Like and they yeah, good yeah. at shit at rapping. It's just like, yo, you that nice and you just talking this, you talking like this, this really how you is. Because <coughs> this, this is the reality I feel like they they had to run into. I really felt like they thought they was gonna change the game to the point where they would be able to run the game and really dictate everything and then everything would sound like them or something. So it would be somewhere where the pressure was relieved. And I feel like 
the industry really like think about it. Think about it, bro. Think about it. The industry really shunned all of them, bro. Joey and Nick Caution, maybe Kirk Knight, barely those two. Yeah. Made it through to the whole industry, like nobody. And Facts. and think about who really banged with Joey. Who really who really who? worked with Joey <laughs> in the industry? Uh, nobody, bro. J Cole at the most. That's J Cole. He J Cole worked with Twenty One Savage, so he, that means he yeah. didn't do anything. <laughs> so, <It's> chill, bro. <laughs> and J Cole better mess with them because J Cole running out of lyrical fans. I'm crying. Nah, I feel that. I feel that. He even said it. They all grew up on him. Like I said. So, at the end of the day, you know, they ain't in college no more. They ain't listening to that sad shit. They happy now. Like you said. So, it's one of them things, bro. And I feel like, um, Issa, this is why I wanted you to listen to it. He really said in the song on this project, his latest album, that I post a pic and if it, no, I post something uh, may, he maybe said pick and he said and if it don't get enough likes I'm taking it down that's how niggas be that's how a lot of people be he was talking about his insecurities and how messed up he really is like how, yeah. how like how he don't be like how he be judging himself wrong a lot and it's like this album was so like it wasn't even that spiritual bro like he was just talking real talk but in like, a way, it could be it could be perceived as spiritual. no. It is spiritual, but you yeah. know how they be spiritual. I'm yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, like, yeah. Like from the normal. The answer to all his problems on this joint wasn't look inside and find the hidden gold, the truth, and yeah. the the light. <laughs> no, yeah, yo, you funny as shit, yo. Chill. The prophet Messiah is coming back to heal us all. Like it wasn't none of that. It was more like <laughs> it's just like real shit, just straight to the point. It was just two like, plus yo, look. two. Like I gotta stop doing this. I gotta stop doing that. I gotta tell my. I gotta know. If I know this and if I know that, I got to do it. Or uh-huh. he'll say, I got to stop doing this drug or I stop taking... Like, come on. What did he say in that? In that in, in Evermore, he was like... De- de- I can't, like He was talking about the weed stuff. He was like, depending on a substance and acting like it ain't got nothing... To, like, it's acting like it's not clout... Like, it's not affecting what I'm doing. Like, acting like it don't affect what I'm doing. Yeah. Act, depending on this shit to feel better. Like, I really am. Like, low-key, like... Like I remember watching that interview, and you still ain't watched that joint about them when they was talking about they they psychedelic experiences, and they was, was saying it on, how, was it like, a Montrealty interview? Yeah, it's, it's Montrealty. I think I did see it then. I probably you probably it did in a see while. it. I'm pretty sure I played it around you though too. But yeah. but they they uh they they said that uh they asked him was they, are, do you think you're addicted to weed? And he literally said like. Hell yeah, I'm addicted to that shit. <laughs> it's the first thing I do when I wake up. It's the last thing I do when I go to sleep. Like, oh, I'm, hell yeah, I'm addicted to it. Anybody try to say they're not addicted to that shit, they lying. <laughs> like shit. <laughs> like shit. And I was lying. I was in denial back then. I was like, nigga, I'm not addicted to the weed. I ain't been on weed in this long, but it was like only because I couldn't get none. But look, though. Uh, yo, that's what you see? Once you can get some, you know how it is. It's like, all right, I'm here. Uh-huh. <laughs> It's a part of the. It's a part of the the or. It's the part of the. What's it called? The the ambiance. It's just, Facts. Cause I you know, know as soon as I get if, as soon as I get some money and I've just had that thought like oh I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm get a J I'm gonna hit some I'm gonna hit some weed a little bit. I hit yeah, one J. Get, oh yeah, I'm hitting J's for 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 as long as I'm I'm alive. You know what I'm saying? Well, bro, I'm, I'm at a point too, bro. I'm at a point too though. I hope I didn't cut you off. But I'm at bro, a point now. Where it's almost like soon as I hit that first one. I'm mad that I'm back smoking. Like shit. But I don't even like, like yo, weed. Why? I'm not mad at the weed. I'm not mad at I'm just like, why do I need this? Why do I feel like why do I why am I so pressed to do like why what am I running from? Like why so am I running from who I am for real? Like am you I running from how I actually am without nothing? You just don't wanna be bored. But what's wrong with that? That's something. It's something but wrong they, with that. Uh-huh, like, but, because you know it's like saying? if you can't sit with yourself, it's something wrong with that. I, I feel like it's like you should be able to. Like I feel like I'm not saying I know nothing. I'm just saying uh-huh. I think I should be able to be okay without anything. Facts. I think I should be okay. Like <laughs> it's like, and then it don't make it no better when you sitting there high as f and you you see on Twitter or you watch a. a, a Something on YouTube, and you realize this t- talented creator made uh, two billion this year, and he ain't hit one J. 
You like, dang. <laughs> like, yo, he got all the bread in the world to smoke weed if he wants to, and he ain't did none of it. <laughs> I said. Like, it get, um, it get to me. It make me, and it don't, it, it don't make me judge myself like I'm him, but then it do make me judge myself in the sense where it's like, I know I am like this is the thing too. I done been so high, dog. This is this is this is what I I learned uh, over time, and I'm gonna let you talk a little bit when I when I say this because I don't know if you relate, but like I remember I used to go to bed like I used to be. This is what I do. I probably be like this is what it what it used to be in the beginning. Then I'm gonna say how it, how it is usually now, but I used to get up right. I ain't had no weed, uh-huh. right. And I'm like mad. I ain't got no weed. I'm trying to get weed all day, but I, at the same time, I'm like, I gotta still start the song. I can't like just m- wait for the weed to start making music. So I'ma just start making music, right? Uh huh. By the time I get the bud, that take up a whole bunch of my time. But once I got it and I smoke and I'm back in the crib or back in front of the computer and I'm high. I be so proud of my sober self. I be like, yo. This is better than anything I could have thought to try to do right now. Like, sit, like right, yeah. Like, I, I could never get that right now because it's so solid. It's so punctual. It's so... The only thing about me being sober is I be overthinking it. And I be, I be like, really, like... Not overthinking it, but I be, like... I said it on that pod, like... On, 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 I think it's on... Yeah, it's on the last one. I really said, like, I be... I be oh, no, I said it on 53. That I be fucking, like critiquing myself too hard when I'm sober. Like, when I'm high, everything I do sound fire. But, like, uh-huh. when I'm sober, bro, I be critiquing it. So now, I will, I will, uh, I will smoke, right? And then I be like, yo, why did I do that, bro? Now I can't even, I don't even want to start to try to make a song right now. It's like, it's not going to be right. Like, it's going to be built on some fake shit. Like, it's going to be built uh-huh. on, like, the foundation of the song. But back then, I used to be able to get high and then, you know, build off of what I did sober and make it fire, like, more I fire. So it's like, now it's kind of the reverse. It's like, when I'm sober, right, I make, because I've been sober, I be having good long streaks of sober, sobriety, so I be making mad songs without nothing, right? And then I freaking hit some shit, bro, and I listen to them songs, bro. I swear to God, they be sounding like my best songs. Nah, I like shit. And I be like, dang, bro, I'm really better sober, but why I got to be high to know that? Why I got to be high to realize that? I swear that's how it is every time I get high now, bro. I'm like, why do I have to get high to realize that I'm better sober? Maybe you, like, maybe it's just, like, you... You do know that while you sober, but we, but you high. So like, if you feeling real good right now, so like when you hear some hard ass shit, it's just like that shit harder than usual. It ain't even so that good. though, because we don't really make me feel good. It just make me feel. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say better, but like <laughs> it just make me feel like what what it, this is what it do right. And I, everybody's not like me, and I'm aware of that. And we had this type of debate back in California when I was out there with you. How to you I might be intense, but to me I'm chill. Uh-huh. So like my brain is really be my brain be going all over the place all the time. Like I'm always zooming in my head, and the weed helped me sort all of that shit out in a very calm manner. Like it helped me take things one step at a time, one day at a time, one minute at a time. It helped me like slow down. Uh huh. So. I, I be loving it because I'm like, damn, I get to really appreciate myself off that shit. But when I'm sober, I just be going so fast and going so hard that I don't even get to really, I don't be liking my songs, but I be finished them. Like, I'm done the song, and it's like, I don't like it because I didn't get it. I ain't really get the chance to feel it the whole time. Like, I ain't really get to feel the whole song while I was doing it, like, Uh until after... You know, until I send it to you or until I hit some shit or drink some shit, then I listen back and I'm like, yo, I can relax now. Now I can relax and really, like, listen to the joint. And I'm like, damn. That's why why I like taking time with dropping music because 
I know I'm so crazy that I gotta really listen to the song before I even like it before I drop it. <laughs> I hate listening to music. I mean, I hate making music while I'm high. Like I don't like recording high because I'd be paranoid. I'd be thinking too much. Like I'd be thinking I'm going to die after weed because my heart beating too fast. This nigga, man, you a new nigga to the smoke though, right? How long you been like smoking? I've been smoking since I was like sixteen. I'm talking about good Cali weed. That that bullshit we was smoking. Oh. <laughs> Damn, Cali weed. Nah, 16. The first time I smoked. Um, no, not the first time I smoked. I was, cause I was out here when I was uh. In but high the school reality shit. is too, we be having some good gas out there. You know what I'm saying? Like we we be having good gas. It don't like, be like how it is out of Cali though. Now Cali, like when like when I was smoking uh before I stopped like the beginning of this year, I was smoking the pens. But, like, then I smoked some flour, and that shit was hard. Like, it was the See, same that's what I'm thing. Gonna say. Maybe, I, maybe that's what it is, bro. Like, the, maybe, because the pen is different. I can, I, can, I can hit that pen, bro, and I can make music all day. I can hit that pen all day and smoke music. I said smoke music smoke. and make music all day, bro. I could do that shit all day. I feel like. What nah. was you saying? Nah, but... Just the thing, like I said, um, but Cali weed, like when I hit the flower, it's like it's it's different from the pen. Like it's better than the pen because like you really high. Like it's just like the, the pen high is you, better. But how yeah. you can you? I'm saying like, are you function? Uh, is the paranoia worse? Isn't the paranoia worse? When I'm smoking the pen versus the flower, the it, uh, the flower is worse than for me. It depends. See, like it depends on what kind of gas The flower is worse for me because I'm not in Cali. That's what it is. Oh, okay, yeah, that. Because that, if that I go outside, I'm gonna be super fucking paranoid. Like, dog, I ain't got time for that shit, bro. I'm not. Uh, I do not got time for that shit, bro. But when I got the motherfucking little vape joint, I just be chilling, vaping. I could do that anywhere, all the time, and I could just fucking pace myself. Like it, in the beginning, I ain't gonna lie. I was looking at my girl like she was the devil because she handed me that fucking pen, bro, and I was gone. And I was like, what's up with you, bro? What you? What type of shit you on? Why would you give me this shit, bro, and not tell me that it was like that? Like, two hits, bro. And I was... I That's was how, how I would be, be up. And I was like, yo, like... I was, I'm the type of nigga, like... If the we paranoia in the car, is worse when you on the pen. That, that's that's my answer right there. It's, it's worse when you on the pen. Because <laughs> you just reminded me of that. Like, when you, you, get, when you get a new cartridge... And it's a yes. good pure one, and you hit it Preach, one nigga. time, or you hit it like if you hit it too hard, cause you know you trying to like make sure you get all the you smoke. You trying to get make that shit pull. Uh, you trying to make it pull exactly. Then you gonna be high as shit, and it's gonna be like yo, why the fuck I just hit that shit? shit you gonna regret this shit out here. <laughs> that choice like that. That's why I be so hard. The pen, the pen, cause like. Like you said, you you said this to me before. You said when you spoke a J, like you could control the like high. You felt like you could control it more. Yeah. What? That's yeah. how I feel. I can hit but it like one time doing. and be cooling. If I want to hit it again, I hit it again. See, but that's how I feel like with the pen. I am now. I'm kind of with the pen like that now, only because I ain't really ain't got no choice. But at the same time, it's like, see now, now that I like now that I know the power of the pen, I'm different with it now. Now that I know the power, like you you gotta learn the hard way. But now that I know what to do, I'm just hey, that's like, the, that, right. that's the name of this episode. I just fall back. Like I'm also Mr. Two Hits, and I'm I'm, I'm like I'm gonna go ahead and lay down, or I'm gonna sit down, and watch some TV, or play the game. I'm not about to try to. But I, I was this is what I was about to say. I'm that type of nigga, bro. This is this is me. I'm weird, bro. I, if we in a car smoking and I'm hitting that pen, I'm hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, and I'm like, why am I not getting higher? Not getting higher. As soon as uh, I step out that car, though, oh bro. Oh my goodness. I'm like, yo, now I know how high I actually am. Like, or I'm that nigga, if we in one room and we smoking, 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 30 minutes go past, once I step out that room, bro, I'm going to realize that I hit that pen too fucking much. Like, yeah. once I got to walk, like, I'm that type of nigga, like, once I'm sitting and smoking, I'm good. But once I start walking or moving, like, even if I'm standing smoking, bro, once I start uh-huh. moving, bro, I'll be like, oh, snap, I'm really that smack. Like, like cause this is what I used to do. This is what I used to do. I used to, I would start, you know, walking, and then I would light the joint or hit the pen or whatever, and then just smoke while I'm walking, and then just walk back. Bro, sometimes, bro, 
you be too high to walk back, bro. Nah, I'd be like, real. yo, how did that? Why did I do that, bro? Why did I not just stay near the crib? No, like, sit. Like, I'm fucking I, smacked bro. right now, and I'm not trying to, like, I feel like everybody know. Like, everybody know that I'm fucking high. I probably look mad stupid right now. I feel like, like I'm probably doing some extra shit, like, right. I'm I probably got a walking story too for you. slow or some weird shit. I got a little Hit story me. for you. So, like, so you could relate. I definitely want to wanna hear a NASCAR weed smoking story. I definitely want to hear that. You could relate to this because we have done it so many times. So just imagine mm-hmm. doing this shit high, high as high as you explain it. So I remember one day we was I was working on the door at the DoorDash joint when when you had left. I think you, you it was around the time you left. Oh, I would and, never smoke at that joint. But, but go look, ahead. Though, and after she was there, you I would her? smoke, but I wouldn't be getting really high. You said who? Remember to the white girl? Oh, oh yeah, uh, with the dye in her head and the piercing. Yeah, uh huh. No, yeah, hold she could have got it. See. Hold on, let me see. You I'm talking about? To think. I'm about to say. Damn, you know I'll, who I remember. Yeah, I know who you remember. Yeah, that that's not who I'm talking about. So you probably I know don't that's not know who you talking about. She, she, that's why I, I might not know who you're talking about. But she, I, the she, only other white girl I know is the joint. Who was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember? No, she was yeah, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking about her. I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about the, uh, a different one. Yeah. She get on my nerve, bro. It felt like she was low-key sneak this and this, like, talking to us like we special or some shit. Like, shit, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bitch, I know. She probably was, you. though. Like, that's the She probably thing. was signing us. She just knew she was better than everybody in that motherfucker, bro. That shit What's funny as shit. So nah, like the girl, her name, yeah, I said her name already. Her name don't even matter. What's but up? nah, so she she used to bring a pen to work and shit, and like don't she tell would me let you, me. I'm go ahead. She, she used to let me. She let me hit that joint after uh after I motherfucking yeah get off and shit. So one night night I hit it. I got off late. I got off at like you know how you get off late and shit. Probably like before the the shit closed at ten. You get off like nine thirty or nine o'clock yeah. and shit. It be dark as shit outside. You got to walk all the way to the Charlie station. So, I hit that joint. And I hit that joint good, though. Boom. You stupid, bro. You stupid as shit. But I would I, never do that shit because... Look, this is why I was so... My bad. No, I forgot you off. But I, this is why I was never get high like that uh, before... Until I got... This is why I was glad I used to have, keep my weed at, home, at, the, at the hostel because... Walking under that bridge past all them crazy ass uh, homeless motherfuckers, like, bro. <laughs> I just knew I was gonna get. It was gonna be a robbery attempt, or or a I'm nigga was crying. gonna say some shit. And if I was high, bro, I might scream like a bitch or hit this nigga or some shit. And he might not I'm, even be doing nothing for. He might just be minding his business. Like, like I, I just, I'm not with that shit, bro. But go ahead. I just, nah. I just know that is a scare. That's a terrifying walk. When you had Bruh. shit. Not only that, you gotta worry about the cars. Uh huh. You remember that little you remember that little dark part under the bridge with a pillar at? Yeah, yeah. I used to swear every night sober, nigga, that somebody was around that fucking corner waiting for me to fucking walk past that I'm motherfucker. Crying, bro. Bro, it's like, oh no, nah, I'm not doing that shit, bro. Tell no. Nah. This so nigga I, hit the pin. I hit that <laughs> shit. I hit it good. <laughs> but I hit that shit good. Like I hit it, it was like, oh shit, I know I'm finna be high. Like you know you ever hit the joint and be like, Yeah, I'm about to be high as shit. And you yeah, just prepare whatever. yourself. Bruh. So I had it. So I hit it like that, right? I'm walking, I'm walking <laughs> and shit. I, uh, I ain't even get to the bridge yet. I'm about to go to um to the Goodwill. By the time I get to the Goodwill, I'm already like becoming high as shit. And I'm like, my heart beating becoming and shit. High. And I'm paranoid already. I'm <laughs> like, yo, I gotta walk. Like, imagine, like, I gotta walk all the way to the Charlie station. It's already damn near far as shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right now, well, it's you, high. You, see, this is when my little high ass would have walked back in the motherfucker. Yo, I need a ride. Who like, to <laughs> drive me home, though. I'm not getting on this fucking trolley. I need a ride home. Bro, the whole Where time I was paranoid, I'm downtown bro. with it. But go ahead. The whole time I was paranoid. Like, I was like, it was, it was my body felt weird. It was like I got on a trolley and I'm just like, yo, bro, I'm high as shit. And that that that'd be my common thing. Like that'd be the thing I say when I'm uh when I'm paranoid. I'd be like, yo, I'm high as shit. I'm high as shit, so I can remind myself I'm high and I'm not just tripping. 
But even though I am tripping still. Bro, you like, be tripping yeah. when you tripping, bro. That shit funny as shit, bro. I, don't know I be hating how you I be hating how you trip when you when you <laughs> I be hating that shit, bro. That shit, you bro, that time hey, we took that ass, bro. You got on my nerve, dog. I'm not thing, gonna lie I to, to you, ask bro. That. You was on my fucking nerve, dog. Like and it wasn't like I was I was I was there for you because you my brother, but like I was mad as shit that this nigga was like... First of all, I was mad that I wasn't feeling that shit like that. And then second of all, I was mad because I thought you was really going to be all right. Like, you asked me to tell you that you was going to be okay. And I told you you was going to be okay. But it's like two seconds later, this nigga got to ask me again to tell him he's going to be okay. I was like, bro, you straight, bro. You going to be good, bro. And then he's like, all right, all right, all right. Like, you would calm down. Like, you would be chill again, listening to the music. And then it's like, soon as I just... Go back around the corner doing my shit. This nigga would just freak out again, bro. I know how you feel though, because uh-huh. that's how I be now, bro. I still be. I, I, the last time I hit ass, it was like a Go few ahead. weeks ago. For real? Yeah, bro. And that shit was good too. That shit had me paranoid, nigga, because I the baby, nigga, bro. It is gonna blow your mind holding a baby off the acid, bro. Like, yeah, it's, uh, you're looking at her and one face she makes, she look like your grandfather. Another face she make, she look like your mother. Another oh. face she <laughs> make, she look like your girl. Another face she look like you, she like, like you, be, you, bro. That shit blow your head. Like, I was like, yo, is she? No. Then the thing that the fact that she's premature, bro. I was thinking about everything. I was like. Yo, she ain't even supposed to be out right now. She supposed to be in her stomach right now. I'm real life looking at a baby that's supposed to still be in the stomach, right? Like uh-huh. this shit crazy, bro. It was like I Yo. felt like I was watching her physically grow. Like I could see her, bro. It was crazy. Everything bro. y'all told me before, you know, when y'all was like you and the one Asian dude we was on the corner with. Uh, yeah, we was telling night, you how that shit is. How that shit is, and y'all was what y'all was saying. I was not trying to hear that shit. I was just like, yo, that's not gonna happen. That to shit you. was, was like, like, you was pissing me off with that shit, but I, I knew like, that you was a goat in there, so I knew you was going, you was going to get it. One I still day. ain't understand it until I ain't understand this shit until a couple nights ago. I went for a walk and I was like, yo, that's why they said you gotta you gotta do acid or shrooms around around like good people or people that you, you know what I'm saying around you gotta. Yeah. Why should you do your that shit around? Because yeah. nigga, this this is why I was tripping. You wanna know why I was tripping so bad? Or what, you what already started told me it? though. You was on par- you was paranoid too. You thought I was up to some every time I went but around no, that corner. But, but this was started. But I'm about to tell you what started it. So in the beginning of my trip, when in the beginning of my trip, I was I was chilling. I was cool and like it was fun. It was I was by myself. It was fun. It's like yeah. Oh, I was talking to uh, I seen the girl and all that. Da 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 da. Soon as I get around, like I got, I got around. It was cool, you know what I'm saying. And then we was outside. You know, we was outside. And it was lit and shit. And See, then, I was mad that you was with that nigga too, though. I was like, I don't know why this nigga about to do that to himself, bro. Cause it, it, it's like you got the people got to be on the same type of time as you, facts. and he is not on that type of time. But did, did, this is why I say what I, this is why I say what I'm about to say, <laughs> nigga. I'm chilling. I'm cool in it, but I'm like. To the outside looking in, I'm doing too much, right? Like I'm like pointing, I'm doing all this and all that, but I'm like I'm I'm feeling myself, I'm doing whatever I want to do, I'm cool in there. And you and but, ain't nobody even ain't nobody tripping off you either. Ain't so. nobody even tripping off me. Like ain't nobody even see you know what I'm saying? Bruh. Yeah. This nigga said one thing and it ruined my fucking whole trip, bruh. It like it Damn. literally ruined my whole trip. That's why I was tripping so hard while I was up there with you. Yeah. So you I we could blame that on yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't this even is what know he that. said. Yeah, I did th- exactly. You know what I'm saying? This this is what this nigga said. He said, yo. He said, yo, chill. Stop what you're doing. You're doing too much right now. And it felt like he was controlling me. Like, it felt like he was, like, trying to control what I was doing because I felt free and I felt like I was cooling. And then he just said some dickhead-ass shit like, yo, stop what you're doing. You're doing too much. Then, I, and then right. it was like, boom. And that shit like, hit it, you. Yeah, that hit. shit hit you. See, that's uh-huh. the thing about about that. That's why I fuck with us. It's because you are very sensitive, like super. Like yeah. you, how you really are, though. We really are like that. Like we uh-huh. really are that sensitive. But it make it so real. It it, 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 it yeah it uh, it bring down all the walls that you put up to act like you tougher than Not, you are. Yeah. Uh-huh. So when, so when the shit that that would really get to you, come at you, it's gonna hit you harder than it would. When you, when you, like, I feel like it just puts you way more in tune with your subconscious mind. Facts. Because, you're, you know, our, 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 like our, our conscious mind 
it be tuning out a l- so much shit. It tune out so much shit. Like it puts so much shit out, out of our our our, you know, out of uh, look what they say, that's in the back of my mind. It, it, it push like our our conscious like when we like when we are sober quote unquote. Uh huh. We are really we. That's when we most. If you ask me, we most high then because we we be. We be filling our head up with bullshit. Like, we be hiding... Yeah. Like, we be hiding everything from ourselves. Like, uh-huh. just so we can focus on this and that and this yeah. and that. When uh-huh. in reality, if you was doing the same shit you was doing sober on some acid, every little fucking thing would be affecting you. Yeah. It would be fucking affecting you. So, it's like... Bruh, I'm, I'm so... I'm an acid goat, though. I can go to work off that shit. I done like did shit. it, too. I, I can't do school. acid at night no more either. Like I, I won't do it in the daytime. I don't know why you did that though. I ain't never did that. Just the whole <laughs> thing. Like I, I understand. Like everything that y'all told me, I understand that shit now. Bro, you tripped me like, out. Yo. You tripped me out before I even took the shit because we was walking up Gaslamp. Like we were so pressed to get off that trolley, bro, that we uh-huh. got off the trolley, bro, at Gaslamp and uh-huh. walked up Gaslamp. But and as I, we got, we got like two blocks from the hostel. And I looked through the crowd, and you gone, bro. I was like, I don't know why this nigga doing this shit to himself, bro. Oh, but I knew, was, I knew he was close to the joint, so I was just going to go in there, get my weed, and then come out and then find you. So uh-huh. I, I came out, and you was chilling. You was happy. You was walking up. You was vibing. You, know you was talking to everybody, too. And you you came up to me. You was like, bro, I was talking to this girl, bro, and like it seemed like her face was so close to mine. Like It was like she was like just... <laughs> He was telling me, like, everybody that you was talking to real life, like, it was like you could see every detail of their face. Like, and uh-huh. shit like that, like. And, then, and it's like, like huh? No, nah, I just want to say, then, like, yeah, it was cool. It's cool until that nigga said what he said. And it was just, just like, bro, then it started making me paranoid about everybody that I started But that's how I to. am. And that's how I am when I'm sober. That's why I don't like when niggas talk. I don't care if it if they don't. I don't like when niggas talk negative around me about anything. Like, like exactly. even with Godson. Even with Godson, when you said, when, he, when the phone rang again, you like, he ain't gonna answer. Like, that shit bring my high down. Like, that shit make me be like, Damn, ah, he not real. gonna answer now. Like, like little shit though, I'm I'm that sensitive. Like, I'm just like, but it's because I did so much acid, I really feel like that. Because I wasn't like that at first. Uh-huh. And I just did so much of that shit that it, I'm, I, the reality is, I told my girl, I said, I might start microdosing that shit, bro. Because it keep me so... It keep me in a healthy place. Like, it keep me health, like a, a healthy awareness. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Like, bro, this is what it is, bro. I just knew, like, this is one time. Like, this is before the baby came, right? We on the acid, right? Or I'm on the acid, right? Peep this, bro. Uh-huh. This is the worst. Sh- like, you talking about I said something. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm tripping, right? And uh-huh. I'm all... Yo, you see Joe Butter's podcast? Like, this is my vision. He's so he's so right. Like, he's a great potter. Like, I'm a great pot. Like, you see now, you see now, like everything is revelations, revelations, revelations. Eureka, Eureka, right? Uh-huh. Bruh. She say. I was just, no, this is what happened. The baby start moving. So I'm all on her stomach. Like listening to the baby and the, I'm talking to the baby. Put my hand on the stomach and the baby get to res- talk like moving and responded to me like, real live. Like everything I said, it was like she would like do something to, like uh-huh. show me she was listening, right? Bruh, I don't know how we. And I was just started talking. You know I'm a talking ass nigga, and I I started talking and I talk even more when I'm on acid. Like when I'm on some good shit, bro. Oh uh-huh. my god. So I'm just talking, talking, talking. About fatherhood, what we going, how crazy it is, what's the birth gonna be like? Trying to imagine that, and she like this. Is what she say? She say, what she say? She said, uh, it was some medical term. I hope that something something don't rupture and burst or something. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Nah, and she I, said, yeah. look, 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 look. I said, I'm not even think. <laughs> this was what my dumbass response was. I said, I'm not even thinking about that. And she said, well, this baby coming soon. You better start thinking about it. And when, that, while, when she said that... Bro, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about right there, bro. That's what I'm talking about right there, I felt so inadequate. I felt like... <laughs> like I was just feeling like I was about to be the best dad. 
And then, then four so, seconds, I felt like I was going to... F- I wasn't shit. I should have never had this baby. Why did I do that to this baby? Like, I'm not going to be good for the baby. Like, I can't handle nothing. I don't know shit about nothing. Like, it just made me instantly feel That's like that. Like, exactly she was like, what you going to... She, she really looked at me and was like, what you going to do if that happened? Like, don't like, ask me those type of know. questions right now. Look, 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 look. Th- look, then I said some stupid or shit. I said, I mean, I'm going to ask the doctor. And she said... Well, I hope you can fucking, like, it's basically, like, I don't trust, like, I want to be able to rely on you, not the doctors. Like, it was some I'm shit, like, bro. That bro, shit, bro. Come on, that's, like, the worst thing you can say to anybody that's true. Bro, that that's is the it. worst. Like, <laughs> but this the whole thing. That's how you just describe how you felt. That's how I felt when <laughs> said what he said. I started really thinking. I started really, I, I was, think about, like, think about, about this. everything. Everything. I was not thinking before. But say what he was saying. I was feeling. I was feeling. I was enjoying, and I was vibing. It was then all he, about the yeah, yeah. How you felt? Yeah. He said that, and it started making me think about a whole bunch of stuff. That's yeah. when my trip start fucking up. Cause then everything I did, it just start making like when you was playing Tyler the Creator, and then you start playing uh the like them songs you was playing. It was it yeah. it, it, it was a like. It was, it was negative to me. Like, it was a negative vibe. Like It was wasn't planning. fully negative, but it was like... Yeah, it was yeah. like It was room for negativity in it. It wasn't, like, pure... Uh, yeah. Because it wasn't from you. Like, he was playing That's that... You was. was playing that beautiful shit. You was playing, like... You was trying to play some beautiful shit, right? To calm me down and shit. But it felt like... You that know, you have a... You, out more, you, you have a... You, a you ever seen a, a horror movie where a nigga getting stabbed while some like beautiful music is playing? Like it's like it oh, fucked your head. I up. know, nigga. You kept acting. I know how you was acting, nigga. I was like, why is this nigga? That's exactly was, how it I felt. Like, that shit crazy, bro. And I remember, I remember, I played that, played this one joint, this one beat, right? And I kept playing. It was like on a loop. And you t- you looked over at me and said, "Bro, this beat right now is exactly exactly how, how I feel." <laughs> I will never forget that. Ever since, every time I play that shit now, I'm like, I want to send this nigga this shit out the blue just to see. No, you, no, you gotta send that shit because I want, re- I want to see if that's, the, I want to rehear. If you it, remember, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, when you play that Tyler the Creator, Aesop Rocky joint, that's when my world crashed. You know, I, I thought I was gonna die. That felt like, like that, that. Tyler beat, the Creator, Aesop Rocky joint. What song? The uh the one you know the the video when he was they was in the door the uh oh I should never sent that like that was fucked up see I, I, see, I thought you was me, trolling for me this is what it is for me this is what it is when I see crazy music videos or like anything watch anything crazy and when I'm in regular like or just half the week I be wanting to take acid and see it like that's what I that's just me uh-huh. so I was like doing that for me and I probably wasn't thinking about. I, and then at the same time, like I said, I didn't know that did that. I thought that you was yeah, like yeah. in a good enough space where you saw everything from the creative, Lottie Dottie. These niggas made this sad. I didn't think uh-huh. you would be tripping out about the real, like really tripping out about the imagery of it all. Like, yeah, because this is what happened. Like the triple C. Have you ever did triple C's? Nah, I never did that. I heard about that's it. What, that's like you know, money counted by Cardi, right? Yeah, yeah, triple C. That's, 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 that's why that's one of my favorite songs. Triple C made a faint, serve a fiend, switch it like. Cause I used to take mad at them shits. I mean, at one time, that shit is basically like acid without the without your without the distort without the distorted vision. So you get to kind of still function way better off of it because, so that kind of had me trained and like able to watch crazy shit without freaking out. Uh-huh. So it's like. Now when I'm on acid, I can watch anything. You know, the problem when I'm on acid is getting me to watch something other than what I'm watching. Because I be yeah. stuck. I go down a certain rabbit, like a straight rabbit hole. And then when I fucking sober, I'm going to be mad I didn't watch this, mad I didn't watch that, mad I didn't watch this. But I don't even be thinking about that shit. I just be watching what I'm watching and keep watching it, keep watching it. <laughs> like, yeah. But um, uh, the first time I saw that video, it's like... Like, that's why I love, that's why I used to love the triple C's and shit. And this is why people who don't know me or don't know that I ever did that shit, they love to think that I'm fucking genius. And I know a lot about the industry without ever being in the industry. It's because of the fucking, I be high, bro, when I'm watching this (laughs) shit and then I get it. I'm not going to lie to you. That's just what it is. I be high as fuck and I understand it instantly. I be like, yo, this nigga real live, this is what he did. Tyler, the creator, decided that. And this, I could be wrong, and can't nobody tell me I'm wrong except Tyler. I 
think this nigga decided in his mind that the reality of what he's doing on this planet needed to be seen in a music video. And in his head, it's the equivalent of a black kid in a garage making something. It could be a bomb. It could be something to fuck the world up. It could be something to end this whole shit. Or it could be something. It could be an invention, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, it's very secretive. It's very like nobody know he and he up to this. And if he do get caught being up to this, he gonna get killed. So I thought I thought of it as this nigga in the garage working, making something for the world, and it blew up in his face. Oh, you saw it in the video. But this is why this is where I think that vision even came from is the fact that that's how he really feel about his career, bro. Uh huh. Like if you ever listen to and this is another thing about the triple C's and the weed, because the like the more acid I take, the more weed trip me out. Like weed trip me out more now. So it's like I, I can hit weed and still have a little bit of acidic vibes. You know what I mean? So it's like I've listened to Tyler's music, and like he's so good at doing scores that he knows what what chords and what what notes strike certain emotions so when he's talking about la di da di da good things good vibes the beat is all up and then when he start talking about the dark side of shit the beat just get real sad and it just go down i'll be like yo uh-huh. this nigga real live make you feel how he feel have you ever heard that song um, I, don't, I forgot the name of the song. How I forget the name of the song, but it's like, brum, 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 brum. And he like, Damo roll another one. Shit, I'm just fucking with you. I ain't smoking none. My squad bringing, ter- bringing terror, no intended pun. Uh, bruh, nah, anyway. Bro, this nigga, the beat is like, boom, 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 boom. Boom, and then when he start talking about sad shit, it go boom, 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 boom. I be like, bruh, this nigga oh, don't, bruh, this nigga really make you sad with him. Like he know what he doing, bruh. That nigga that yeah. stupid, bruh. Like that nigga really know what he doing. That's why I'm so mad. I don't know how to play the piano. Cause if I did, bruh, I would really, I would fuck the world up, bruh. Because I, like I, I do that shit now with by accident. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Fact. I create a feeling and then I rap to whatever beat I made. I, I can't control it. Like so it's like this nigga really decide what he wanna do and he do it, bro. That shit crazy, bro. And it's like I told you this shit the first about this first time I took acid, motherfucking. I be, I'm sitting here listening to Joey Badass and he just like I heard the song Black Beatles and I drank on mm, Uh, he come, they got me low on yeah. self-esteem Forced me out after Do you know I felt yeah. like him in that moment? Like I instantly Could you imagine listening to that Off that shit? Yeah, you I can You felt I can. his fear <laughs> You literally felt his fear Like you felt out there like him Like you felt like you was I felt like I was up before, bro I swear, acid make you feel like you up That's what it is, bro like, I really get to put myself in the shoes of a fucking celebrity As soon as I take that shit I be like Oh, this is how it feels to be Cause I would never want to go outside right now, you see what I'm saying? Like I would uh-huh. never want to go outside right now. So what the fuck? And like, I just start be. Like, that's the shit that make you appreciate not being up. It's the fact that you get to go through shit like that, and be that sensitive. Cause uh, you exactly. couldn't be that sensitive if you was as famous as you want to be. Uh, exactly. Like, come like on, it would be, it would get so worse. Could you imagine taking acid and going outside and everybody know your name? You would fucking scream, I'd be my mad. nigga. I'd be mad. Bro, you wouldn't I, be able to I, go nah, be, bro, Every be two annoyed. seconds, somebody would be running in your face. Bro, that it, a, that me, bro. I'm a nigga that's like, I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't think. So it's like, right now, I could just go outside and do what I want to do. And I'm like, yeah. But then now yeah. it's like, damn, I can't go in there because I know niggas in there going to know who I am. I, I, I already know it. Yeah. But I'm gonna just going there anyway. But me, I'm a challenge field nigga. I like a challenge, so I just like Me to too just, though, but you know what I'm this is what <laughs> I'm saying. We on a level where we can experience that challenge and it's still safe for us, is what I'm saying. Like imagine yeah. like it not being safe. Like not it's it, cause, cause imagine going out there, right? Off the off the shits as you were, 
but not only off that, you famous, bro. Oh, yeah. I think and like that night? somebody, oh, somebody yes. out there say they don't like this or they don't like that. Like, oh, you bro, real live oh ain't. Oh, my God. I'm going to cry. Yeah, somebody I just be cry. like, yo, you ain't shit. Like, you, you real live ain't shit. I see all these people freaking out, but you ain't shit to me. Bro, you going to be fucked up. I'm and it's cry. not it's not even like it's not even like you really care. It's just about the vibe and the feeling. Like the you vibe, so in yeah. tune with everything being on positive and on high that for somebody to be that low vi- that low vibration and come uh-huh. around you, it's like they taking your energy and that shit that shit make niggas sad. Bring them down with you, you down with them. So uh-huh. it's like I think about shit like that and I That's just be like when I'm famous, I don't think I'm gonna be smoking as much as I do now. I don't know how these rap like this is what I don't believe boost like I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say it on the pod. I don't believe Boosie really be smoking weed in them Vlad interviews. <laughs> what you think he doing? C B D. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Ain't no way to function smoking no long ass, thick ass blunts like that. It just but don't th- work. But not anybody though. Like nobody. Exactly. Like how fast are you not? Days of but, gelato. Could, but but could you imagine getting that high and realize it like think about how much money you got in the bank and how many haters you got out here and how much people you paying and how many people how much shit you gotta do? Like, come on, that's some bullshit. You got me fucked up if you want me to uh-huh. believe that, bro. Like shit. And then you in front of Vlad, you in, you doing an interview, and he about to ask you, right. he about to press you in the interview. He definitely about to press you. He about you to in ask interview. you mad shit that's like, that could make or break your whole shit. Like he said, and unless you, you don't, unless like, you really don't give a fuck, and then you's just like, man, I don't give a fuck. I mean, I'm sure he really don't give a fuck, but this is the thing about Boosie that I also believe too, though, and I that, and believe why I could be wrong, is this nigga done been around death and murder and fucking the. Like Baton Rouge, like I I've never even been to Baton Rouge, so Quote I can't unquote. imagine like because they say the same shit about DC. I ain't never seen nothing. Shit. Like how like how you could be like I I can imagine how used to pressure you can be if you grew up. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Wanting to be on in the hood, like I ain't never want to be in it. I ain't never want to be in that. It wasn't like how you know niggas in the hood. I don't want to be here, but they be there every day. Uh-huh. I really didn't want to be there. I would leave any chance I could. <laughs> like shit. <laughs> Nigga, I moved back to Virginia. I moved to Centerville. I didn't want to be there. And that's like, you know what I'm saying? That was just like, I didn't want to be in Centerville so bad. Like, because... What's Centerville was, like? Centerville... Did, that's a great question. I'm about to say... There's a bunch of black you. people out there? No, nah, it's a bunch of white people. It's a bunch of white people, but... They are white He's saying people. saying that like I'm supposed to, like, like I'm supposed to, that's what's going to freak me out. If you said a bunch of black no, people, I would understand not, why you didn't want to live there. <laughs> nah, no, no. I love Virginia. It ain't bro. about. I, I'm, a, I'm a Virginia ass nigga, bro. I love it ain't Virginia, about bro. them being white. or It was white and Middle Eastern. It's a little bit of black. You know, it's a little bit of I black. I hate the Middle Eastern people out there, though. They fucking racist. More racist than the white people out there. But, but they all trying to, they all trying to be hip like they from Maryland or D.C., well, that ain't they fault. That's y'all fault. Y'all keep going over every everywhere we go, bro. We make people want to do what we I do. I mean, yeah, That's just uh, yeah. It <laughs> and it's like we need to leave people alone, and then they'll stop trying to fucking playing with us. Like, like Makes these sense. rappers keep coming out. It ain't like these rappers stop coming out. Niggas, every uh-huh. every nigga you know want to be a rapper. Facts. Who gonna fucking buy the songs that come to the show? Them. You know uh-huh. that, but you keep doing it. You know they fucking want to do what you do. Yeah. They fucking love you, bro. And that's why it's like that's why I love that shit because when I was going to them schools, I used to use them niggas for my benefit, bro. Now I can talk How? about that side of my childhood, but I realized How? <laughs> I was I I played a whole school, bro. I played a whole school. Walt Whitman boy. And when I went there, it was apparently supposed to be the number one high school to go to in 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 the country. Right? Uh huh. Tell me what the graduation rate for black kids in that school was. We th- I think I think we talked about this before. Bro, that shit was I, the lowest. Yeah, in low. The country. Yeah, it's like nah. Yeah. Cause they and guess uh, who was talking was, to the school board director about you? the racism in the school exactly? You? And guess what race the fucking school board director was? Black. What the fuck is up with that? A black man. <laughs> Yeah, black man, of course. So it, it it's like I don't. This how it is. This how like, he feel. Like nigga, nigga, you see, I'm black too. I gotta be here. I gotta work here, nigga. Yeah, he be trying to tell me like he he was trying to relate and shit. And I'm like, we don't relate, nigga. You don't. You you a puppet. I'm not a puppet. I'm a like going shit. against the machine. 
Like you can't you t- you keep telling me all the reasons you can't do shit about what I'm saying. That's all you telling me right now. I mm-hmm. went to the meeting. I called the meeting. I'm I'm the reason the meeting happened. Like shit. It ain't like he fucking reached out to me about the racism in the school. <laughs> Nigga, I brought it up and I wasn't letting it go. And motherfuckers got sick of me keep pushing this shit. And I was talking about it so much that it got around the school to the security, to the staff, to the teachers, to the point where we got to give this nigga a conversation before we get in fucking trouble. Like, that's what it was. I was on that type of time and I've been on that type of time. But at the same time, I started to... I just learned so much in that school, bro. I really got to... I met kids from Persia. I met kids from Peru. I met p- kids from p- Pakistan. I met kids... And I'm going... T- from Turkey. I dated a girl from Turkey. I, like, I did all of this. I had all... That's, this is what I'm telling you about the experience, too. Let's go back to the shit with women. This is where I learned who not to talk to. You got to go to an all-white school to know what girls not to talk to. Like shit. Because <laughs> you go to the all-white school, you walk up to her, what's up, shawty? And she freaking be like, huh? Oh, no, I don't be on that type she of really time. <laughs> look, look, though, I'm not saying shawty. I said shawty just as a... Because as, uh, yeah. I wasn't trying to think about a slang. But uh-huh. talk how you talk. She's not going to know what the fuck you're saying. She not, And it's not like she being rude. She don't even know what you're saying. Like shit. So you got to change your shit up. Like, you, <laughs> I was like, yo, but, what's up with you? Like, I'm real live trying to go with it. She was like, Huh? But that, that that but that's the thing that's the thing about me. Every like did you, you would like take it too personal. <laughs> no, I ain't never take thing. that shit personal. I just knew that she was too white for me. Like no, she no, me. I never. No, this is the thing about me. I never like ahead, approached nobody like that. Like unless they was black. You know what I'm saying? But no, I, I, but see, me neither. But this is what I'm saying. I'm not saying that because I did it. I'm saying this because I was living in a group home. Yeah. And it was niggas there from Baltimore. And we all had to go to the same local school. And them niggas used to think they could do whatever they want in that school and get all the girls. I was the only nigga getting the girls in that school. Uh Uh-huh. And it was because I did not talk like them niggas. I didn't act like them niggas. I didn't approach them like them niggas. Baltimore niggas, he was like... Them, them niggas, niggas used to be mad shit. when them girls would diss them. Like, when they girls would walk away, like, fuck you, that shawty bitch ass. You ain't even that cute anyway. Da, da, da. And it's like, don't, you don't nobody like how Baltimore really ruining, niggas talk. Like, you're <laughs> ruining every chance you have in this school by saying that right now. Like, like shit. Like, well, like these ain't had? the girls to do that with. Like, they're not going to respond to that. Not facts. <laughs> That's so a fact. I would be in that joint. I would just come up behind them, like, yo, I don't know what's up with them, man. But, yeah, what y'all doing? That's what I would do. I would get to them. I would be like, what What are uh-huh. we talking about here? Like Bruh, I, this is the first time I went to school and I realized I walked past a group of girls and they are talking about homework. Now, tell Crazy. me a time you walked past a school, a, 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 a locker of girls in the DMV and you heard the girls actually talking about school, their credits, and homework. Never. I so shit, I wouldn't top. even thought that was even a discussion. Like, oh, we talking, we really in school talking about school work, really? That's how I'd be like, like these bitches talking. Bro, I tried school. to skip class, bro. Nobody was in the hallway. Crying. I said, damn, I want bitches. I thought the bitches was gonna be out here. You know what I mean? Where we from? The bitches be out there while we skipping. Uh huh. That's how you. That's how you fuck around. Get get get. You know, get some action. Yeah. Bro, I get it there, bro. I'm like, I got to be in class if I want the girls. I got to show them that I'm good in class. And she be watching that. Like, I raise like my shit. hand, answer all the questions right without even reading the chapter. And then I see this girl looking at me, like, biting her lip, like, damn. Like, this nigga real <laughs> live. Like, like she biting black. her lip. Like, because I had to, like, this is what niggas didn't understand. You already black, bro. You got the advantage with Yeah, facts. They are so tired of the niggas they used to dealing with, bro. Oh, I mean, it, 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 bro, this bring me to a good ass statement. It is so fire being a black dude, bro. I swear to God, and oh yeah, and um, it's the best shit ever, bro. I got some information to tell you that I just found out this what? year. So I guess I'm Dominican. You ain't Dominican, you ugly ass boy. <laughs> you funny as shit. My grandfather, <laughs> this my nigga dad, said he my Dominican, my you know dad, he's Dominican. Yeah. My fucking dad Dominican, but like I didn't like it made sense, but like he, Have you nobody ever, seen ever your told dad me before? that. Yeah, when like I was just, like, yeah, like when I was younger, I saw my dad, but like I haven't seen my dad in recent years. You know what I mean? You remember I, him though? 
Yeah, I remember. I got them added on Facebook. See, that's the crazy shit because I, 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 I never lived with my dad until I got older. But I always, I always had him like picking me up. Not uh-huh. like he, it's not like this nigga was like the best dad ever. He picked me up every time. When he was supposed to. <laughs> that nigga did the dad shit and like left like you on shit. the stoop, mad time. But I never always wondered what it be, what it was like for those people, like those niggas who really like ain't seen their dad since they was little type shit. You know. I wonder nah. if you still remember that shit. You say you do. No, I, I definitely remember that shit. Like I, I, I think the last time I, the last thing I could remember of my dad in person was. I get going to the going to the fucking basketball game. Going to my brother basketball game. He had just got drafted, and he was playing at nigga, Barry what, Farms. What you got a brother? What the yeah. fuck is going on? I don't live with this nigga, and I don't even know you got a brother. I don't talk about that shit. Like I never talk about <laughs> this, this nigga shit. Ain't even like, talk about nothing, bro. This is our first time talking about it. That's why it's so fire, though. Like shit, like they yeah, they was playing. It was uh my brother Michael Beasley, and. This one, him and KD was drafted and uh, Derrick Rose and all of them. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. they, him and KD was playing at Berry Farms. And then uh, I rolled with my mom and my dad. Not at the same time, but I rolled with my, rolled with my mom to go meet my dad. They go watch the game. Mm-hmm. And then that was like the last time I saw that nigga. In person. Yeah. She used to go down at the farms, huh? They, they used to hype and make it seem like it was so well, dangerous no, around the Berry Farms. What? You know, you know, brother? Uh, I guess. No, not That's the skinny light skin joint, right? Yeah, uh-huh. I'm talking about, uh, what's the nigga, what's her brother's name, bro? It begin with a C, but anyway, he a boxer. Like Quiet. now? Uh, what's her last name? What what's what, what, we talking about? Francis T. Evans or Stephen Decatur? Oh oh yeah, he on. Never mind. But either either way, she went to school with us, right? And her brother is a fucking fire ass boxer. I guess the point don't even matter since you don't know her. <laughs> I'm crying, chill. But but I'm gonna still say it since I brought it up. But her brother is a fire ass boxer, and he used to box at the Barry Farms little court. Like they oh, used yeah? to turn that shit into a, a, a boxing ring every now and then. And um, what's crazy is my aunt married a nigga whose son's box, and they used to box with that nigga. So it was crazy, Damn. like, it was so crazy because you know how that shit is at that school, at, in the, at schools in the DMV in general, and they used to, one of the ones who ain't, she ain't have nothing against me. But she made her little snarky remarks because she was with the cool crowd. Like she was, uh-huh. she was like, she had it. Like what is it called? She was like, she was uh, the, she was in the royal family, so she just had what to like go on me. Uh huh. So it was like, it was, it was almost like when they saw me there, they was like, oh my god, like you really are a real nigga. Like you're really a person. Like you're really cool. Like you actually know what's going on in life. And I was like, bruh, I feel the most unsafe right now. This like, is the it- worst place to be. Why the fuck are y'all here? I've just no shots about to ring out. I'm, I'm not trying to be around here. <laughs> like I hate Barry Farms. I'm so I and I hate it because it's so dangerous. That's the only reason I hate it. But like just the thing like, about it'd be fo- so it'd be so fun until somebody died around that joint. I hear I just heard a whole bunch of stories about Barry Farms. I used to drive past it. Well, my mom used to drive past. I used it. to drive past it every fucking Sunday. All the, to go all to the church, t- go to DC. You know what I'm saying? Like all the time. Right under the bridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. I just look over there because I know it's Barry Farms. So I just look over there, and there don't never be nobody yeah, yeah. outside. It don't be never be nobody outside. <laughs> too. Oh my god, bro. I, I That's the god. thing about Barry Farms, though, bro. They come out when they come out, bro, and they be deep. I'm, I'm telling you, bro, them boxing matches, bro, it is deep, bro. You can't even find parking over there. That's crazy. That's why it was, like, so dangerous. I'm like, yo, it's too many niggas in one spot. Like, but it's, like, it's, it's too many it's, DMV niggas. I'm bound niggas. to step on a nigga's shoe, bro. It's too, it's too many DMV. I'm bound DM- to step on somebody's Jordans, and they're going to fucking try to nah, fight me or fucking, you know what I mean? And if I don't fucking kiss his ass real quick, he's going to try to kill me. Like, nah, I just it's... knew that shit was going to go down. <laughs> nah, that shit The only funny. reason I felt safe a little bit is because I was there with the nigga who, like, was a part of the whole boxing 
you know, bring putting the whole thing together. Uh-huh. And even then, I don't mean I'm really safe. Yeah, I was thinking that in my head as <laughs> she don't said mean that. Nothing at all. That shit don't mean nothing. There's too many niggas here. Nigga. Ain't nobody got padded down to be here. This is an open event. Anybody can walk up here. I just knew somebody, like, I just knew 80% of the people that was there was on some bullshit. Like Except shit. for the kids and the, and, the, and the old people. Bro, that shit funny as shit. Cause I, I just hear I all these stories. Barry and I ain't diss them. I just was, like, being real, bro. I, I, I done heard too much bad shit about the Me Barry too, Farms, though. Bro. And then to look over, every time I drive past it, every time nobody's out there. It's nothing there. I don't even see niggas on the court. That's what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck? It's shit, ghost time. You bro, it's so crazy that you that you said you had the same experience. <laughs> Driving <laughs> past Barry Fonz. I thought that was just me, bro. I thought I was, bro. like, the only nigga who always missed out on the Barry Fonz. Like, that's shit. what I'm saying. Like, Why it's it, like an urban legend shit, like... or some shit. And then the one time I was at Barry Fonz, ain't nothing happened. We, they was playing basketball. Everybody went home. <laughs> Like, damn, like, this shit So you trying to tell me, hold on, NASCAR, you saying that this is a conspiracy? It got to be a conspiracy or an urban legend it's or something. It's a Barry right? Falls conspiracy. Uh, Nothing uh, goes down in Barry Falls for real. Fucking like. urban legend, Barry Falls urban legend. He <laughs> said like, urban legend. Like, what the fuck? Oh, my God, bro. I love that shit, bro. That is so fucking fire that we both have that remember that memory of that's that That's some shit. DMV like, shit. Like, I feel like everybody probably got to feel like that. Anybody that's from D.C. <laughs> listen to this shit they hear that part they gonna be like yo I thought I was the only one too nigga that's crazy I thought I was the only nigga who drove past there and was like what's up with it like, nigga I still will drive past this still at, ain't nobody bro. right where there. are the people at where do they be at that's what I'm saying ain't there some apartments over there or some shit let me let me tell you something bro let me tell you something that's funny as shit it's about to be funny as shit to you too alright you remember when I uh this is this is this is so funny because it's it's kind of connected to the conversation too. So, you remember that shit I did with Wale? Yeah, uh-huh. This is while I was going to that that school in Moco, that that school I was just talking it's, about, uh, the white school. Oh shit. Walt okay. Whitman. And this is how this is how I ran I told you I ran that school, bro, when I was there. Yeah, you did. Bro, I real live got the call that I was that I could that I had to be on the set to, for the video, right? Uh huh. Tell me, tell me why I took the call in the class in English, and stood up and was like, "Oh yeah, music video." You said Wale. All right, well, I'm about to leave right now. He was like, "You ain't doing nothing." I said, "No, nah, I ain't got shit to do, nigga." In the middle of this school day, bro, I got up and walked my ass back to that group home and was like, "Nah, so and so about to pick me up, bro. I'm about to go to the, do this music video. You like I ain't go back to school." Like shit. And it? everybody in that class was just like. Oh my God, he's a god. This nigga is the god. Oh, like crying. he is the fucking man. Like they just knew I was the man, right? Uh huh. So besides all that, that shit don't even matter. The music video was shot in Southwest, Bruh, While I was watching the eighty five South show one time, bro, and every time they come to DC, they be like, "Where the niggas from Southwest?" And it don't be no niggas from Southwest. He's like, where do the niggas be from Southwest? He said, you don't meet a nigga from Southwest unless you in Southwest. That shit crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, Everybody I know from D.C. is from Southeast. I don't know nobody from Southwest, bro. I, I don't know nobody from you, Northwest. <laughs> my bro, cousin, I only my... know niggas from the Northeast and Southeast. I don't know bro. no niggas from North nothing. Northwest. I don't know no niggas from West nothing out, my, out DC. My cousin bro. at where I was staying at the uh, house we went to, she in Northwest. That's it. That's the only thing I but know. But when I tell you that video, the whole street was flooded with people, bro. What the fuck they, they deep come in from? Southwest, but they in Southwest. I don't know why they don't leave Southwest, but they be deep in Southwest. What the fuck is even out there? Like, didn't even Nothing, know. Nothing, nigga. Apartments. It's like Berry Falls. It's just a bunch of fucking apartments, nigga, in a fucking community center. I'm on that story you told me about Wale. Like, you say he was an asshole. <laughs> He was an asshole because he was drunk too, but and, and oh, yeah, I feel yeah. like he one of them niggas who's just like he like me. He when I saw when I met Wale, I felt like I was gonna be like him when I was up, and it's because this is another thing that and I'm I, the only reason I'm correcting not correcting but like saying this is because I feel like nobody in the industry or the world or anybody outside the DMV know what type of pressure you got to deal with coming up out the DMV. Even uh-huh. if you want to be a good nigga to the DMV, you're not gonna be a good nigga. Like shit. 
It's, so it's it's one of those things where you got tremendous pressure. So you always gonna seem irritable to somebody. You gonna Fine. always seem like an asshole to somebody, and it's because like you dealing with so much bullshit. Like, can uh-huh. you imagine blowing up? Being can you imagine being Wale, bro? Oh yeah, really? nah. Like th- that's people it. look at you and think DC the city. Yeah, you are. You can't you just imagine carrying DC or the city on your back and like you that. Bro, that is you know? too much. That's, that's too shit, much, bro. bro. I don't want. <laughs> you know, let me tell you something, bro. This is how this is how far I am. This is why I'm a goat too. Guess what high school? I, I went to the same alternative high school that that Wale went to. What school is that? I ain't gonna say the name, but it's oh, it, it. It, 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 and this is why I ain't gonna say the name. It's because we had the same English teacher. Crazy. And she told me I was at, like when she told me Wale went there, and she only told me this because I was writing songs in her class, bruh. Uh huh. And I was fired, bro. I was writing papers and everything, bro. She was like, I was like, yo, you got to show me some of his work and you got to tell me like how it was teaching him. She said, I can't say nothing because he real life sent back like, you know, NDAs. Like we can't talk about his, his time here. She real life told me that, bro. Hold on, what? Right. I saw. It's alternative school, bro. You know, the bad kids being the alternative school. He probably was in that joint getting in trouble. He's probably getting it in. Like He's probably wilding out. So it's like, he he don't. But that's the thing about being from DC. You that don't need the me. extra bullshit. You don't need no extra bullshit around your name. You say what? I said that's not fishy to me. Like coming from her, like not you, but her. Like that. nah, it ain't fishy. It's the reality is everybody, every teacher talked about him, but they uh, couldn't tell me nothing really about him. They could just only tell me that he was here, and that you could look it up. He went there, but it's yeah. like at the end of the day. Of course, if you blow up, you're going to be like, ah, right, you can't say shit about when I was here because I was a... He probably was an asshole, bro. I was an Fine. asshole in that school. I said... I was a mean-ass kid in that school, bro. I was talking shit to them teachers. You know, I don't know if you know, bro. The DMV kids are bad. We treat our teachers oh, terrible, Oh, yeah, no, nah, facts. We, you gonna say, you don't know if I know... Nigga, we... Nigga, our class specifically made... We was a made, part of it. We was a part of it. Our you know class specifically made our English teacher quit and Miss Watts. And the and the science teacher, bro. And, oh, and and Miss uh, and what's Ms. her name? Chambers. And Miss Chambers, like our class Ms. specifically. I was there when Miss Chambers quit, bro. She got up and said, "Fuck these kids." Grabbed her purse and her <laughs> shoes and left, bro. And everybody was joning on her, right? Everybody was cracking jokes. That shit the is so toxic, made her leave, bro. The one joke that made her leave, bro. She had it. She used to always take her shoes off in the class, bro. Why? Her said, "Bro, and your feet stink." Put your shoes on, <laughs> bro. When that I tell you, crazy. she put her shoes on, said "fuck these kids" and left, bro. That shit crazy, bro. bro. Oh my god, bro. That shit that is shit fucked up. Me, like it's so fucked up. It's just like bro. we treat our teachers so terribly in out in the. Nigga, that's an understatement. Uh, see, it's one of them things. I don't know how we still got a school system. But I swear it was teachers. our class. Like, it was our class. I don't think it was no other class that could have done that. It was only our class. Like, we had the perfect group of motherfuckers But think about this, that. though. Think about this, though. When I got to, 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 to the Stephen Decay that I was only there for eighth grade. So when I got uh-huh. there, I was late. And I was told this school used to be worse the, this is the whole thing. I went there for sixth yeah, grade, there for sixth and grade, then I left, and then I left grade. after sixth grade, and then I came back eighth grade. So sixth eighth grade, grade was the was the best year. No, or was was it worse in sixth and seventh? Sixth grade was it was fun. It was like it was not. It was fun. Like it was not how it was in eighth grade. Like I'm. 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 I'm, I'm you to, wasn't. But what? Well, uh, no, no. Let me say this though. Since you wasn't an eighth grader, was the eighth graders wilding, or was you just? Nah, in sixth grade land. We, it was we was in sixth grade land. It was like yo, sixth grade, this shit lit. We in middle school. Let's get it. That's how so it you, was. So nobody seventh and eighth, you ain't even know what was going on with the seventh and eighth graders at that yeah, time. Yeah, huh? because this will happen. I went to sixth grade for like a couple semesters or like a semester, couple quarters and shit. And then I moved to Walker Mill, and I started going to school out there. Oh, uh, this nigga went to Walker Mill. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I moved See, to I'm Walker a, Mill. Like, DMV make you an asshole. Just hearing that name, Walker, Walker Mill, Mill, make you want like, John on you, Everybody <laughs> knows about Walker <laughs> I moved Man, to Walker Mill. You want John Mill. on your ass. Like, like shit. Walker Mill ass. Like shit. Get your ass walking. Walker Mill face walk into Walker Mill. Oh, How you walk to Walker Mill? How you walk in that school? Like you just got walk in with Millie Rock. As soon as you get in. You got walk in with a mill. 
<laughs> walking, bro, that would be hard, bro. You go back to walk a meal, just walk in with a meal. <laughs> <laughs> chill, bro. But nah, I'm right, a chill, I'm a chill. But nah, look, so then seventh grade, I went to Thurgood Marshall, and then like this is the uh-huh. thing about this is the thing about Thurgood Marshall. It's just like it's just, in this it's, it's just like uh, Stephen Decatur. Like it's not even no different. Like I went to I, I wanted to go back to. Stephen I heard Decatur. about that. I know I knew Third Girl was like that though. I wanted to go back to Stephen Decatur because it was like shit. If I'm going to deal with this, at least let me be around some niggas <laughs> I know. Like these <laughs> all. Like, if I'm going to deal with Poor this thing. shit, at least let me. Poor thing. This nigga said, "If I'm going to deal with this." Bruh, I don't know if people know how it is bruh. going to school in the DMV, bro. It's shit crazy, bro. Because bruh. you, just how you saying it, you said, if I'm going to deal with this, can I at least deal with it with somebody I know? Exactly. Like, I don't like, think so nobody ever faces. thought that thought in no other type of school. Like, in exactly, no bro. It's like, yo, at least let me be around some familiar faces I know since elementary school. Then they'll be like, I feel Let me more tell you something, bro. You ain't never been a spin guard, have you? What, at that time? No. Have you heard of the school spin guard? Middle? Nah, uh-uh. Or high? I think it's high school. Nah. I, high school, I don't know nothing spin about guard, high school. Spin guard is southeast. Oh, shit. And it's the worst joint out there. But why, though? Like, explain. Bruh. I don't look, nigga. I don't know why it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like that, nigga. Cry, it was the I first school I ever probably. went to, and it was like lean on me when I walked in. I say that to everybody everywhere that I ever tell I went to that school for. I only went there for two weeks because I was staying with my brother for two weeks when he tried to fake get custody of me, uh-huh. and he ain't really do it, and he already ain't really have a place to stay himself. He was staying oh, with his uh, girl. How you gonna get custody, <laughs> nigga? Get that. Fuck How out did you even get it? So look, look, we ain't even gonna talk about that. But look. Well, at least not now, because it's my pod. I can talk about what I want. But uh-huh. look, this motherfucking school had, sec- had 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 metal detectors at the door. Oh, yeah. Metal detectors at the door, and not, not school security, but Metropolitan, D.C. Metropolitan Police Officers at the door, bro. God damn. Right, and they asking for ID. Or you can't get in. They saying it to you. You not coming in without no ID. You not Crazy. coming in. They saying it as kids coming into school every day. Crazy. No ID. You not getting in. Like what? No ID. That is that. They Bro, I was so glad I ain't really have to go to the. I ain't, I barely went to that school. I was only. I wasn't in no class. No nothing. I was only in the office. Cause I was in the office and they was trying to get all my shit transferred and all that. That's all I was doing in that school all day. Uh-huh. I was never really in that joint. I was so glad I was never really in that joint, bro. Nah. That shit was like going to jail, nigga. It was like going to jail for school. Guess now, guess guess what I can do? I could I could compare contrast. I mean, not contrast. I could uh, not compare it, but I could tell you the difference between DMV schools and uh, in eighth grade and being in Cali in eighth grade. And it, this is the thing about oh, that's that. hard because I ain't never even heard of a California school. I don't even think niggas out there go to school out there. We just <laughs> fucking wake up and be happy to learn something new through Alexa or something. I don't I'm even crying. know. Them niggas go to school <laughs> where they just go to the ocean and shit, and then God talk to them. This so all about this, all, this niggas ain't go to school. <laughs> shit like a fucking movie, bro. I swear to God, shit like a movie. Go, that's imagine. the thing though. If you was in, I feel like it's certain hood spots in Cali that could be like DMV school. Like I, I feel like mm. we gonna get when when this episode go, blow up and we get some listeners, they gonna be letting us know like, nah, nigga, my school was hard as fuck. Like our school was like that but too. I, nah, I feel like go ahead. Th- okay, so look, this the thing. Like imagine like okay, eighth grade, you gotta deal with. <laughs> Boy, 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 uh, 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 boy, uh, 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 neck ass boy. Look, you gotta really, no, nah, no, nah, you can't just say boy, boy. You gotta explain what the DMV shit is, okay, bro. You can't yeah. just say boy. Because I get what you're saying, but don't nobody else understand what so, you're like, saying. So, like, when I say that, I mean, like, as soon as you walk in the fucking, just imagine this, listen. As soon as you walk in the fucking school, and a nigga, you probably, a nigga you know, or even if you don't know him, look. He, know, if, he might not be even be your man. He might just be. He'll look at you, you he'll look at you, and in his, you know, in his head, he's saying, boy, like, it's that bad, like, because so what does boy mean, bro? What boy, is he can't but, say boy. But boy is, 
You thought you, you thought like you thought you was fresh, but you're not fresh. But you are fresh. But I'm gonna make you, you feel like you you're not cute. fresh. Like I'm gonna make Boy, you feel you thought like you was cute. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine having it, nigga, nigga. This this a thing too. You can you can you can What's relate up with to this, this nigga, too. man. You think he cute? Have, What's up with him? <laughs> nigga, getting a haircut. Nigga, getting a haircut on Friday and coming back to school one day. It's not what you thought it was gonna be. <laughs> You thought you were going to kill her when you come back. You got the fresh oh cut. They going to be like, boy, you thought you were sweet. No, you didn't cut. try to get fresh. Don't try to get fresh in the DMV, bro. Either you fresh or you... Either you woke up like that or you not ever going to make it, bro. I don't know bro. why you tried. Oh, don't you go get a haircut, bro. They going to come for you, boy. Gonna it's going to be a crazy. nigga who with no haircut. It's going to be a nigga no, with I, no haircut. Uh, exactly. It's coming at your haircut, bro. <laughs> Nah, for real, like, boy, you thought you, you thought you was this fresh, nigga boy. Said no, the fresh boy. haircut, bro. No, you did, you bro. You hit my heart when you said that. That bro. shit is fucking crazy. You know how many times, bro? I ain't had no control over my haircuts, bro. My mom used to make uh-huh. me get a haircut, Facts. bro. And niggas ain't niggas don't even want to get haircuts because they don't want to <laughs> be the one to stand out in front of, I, I stand out so somebody can fucking join on them. Like right? that's exactly. You're gonna kill me, bro. You can't keep saying this shit. That, bro, imagine going. Do that going from that to <laughs> Hold okay. on, I know you still potted, bro, but hold on, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm in tears, bro. You gonna kill me? Keep talking like this. <laughs> Yo, you telling nothing but the truth, bro. I hope motherfuckers bro. know that this is all Dude. true shit. This bro. is like a living hell, bro. Like is... you gotta live through this shit, bro. You really gotta live through this shit, bro. It's this nigga really said, imagine. It. He cut right to imagine dealing with all that. Like he's. <laughs> Like, bruh, like, you can't do nothing. Like, it's like you can't do nothing. <laughs> Somebody's going to say something to you. <laughs> bro, the DMV bruh. and me make me want Jonah you just for saying that. Uh, exact, bro. Because if a DMV nigga heard you saying that, he'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah you can't do nothing, huh? Right? You feel like you can't do shit. <laughs> nigga, that's how much you can't do nothing. A nigga, a DMV nigga, uh, say something about you not being able to it's say It's just something. they say shit about you. Thinking like they see you thinking and they tell you like they <laughs> <laughs> they hunters like they hunt like they blood they smell it it's like they, Look, they not only are they hunters they make you a hunter oh, they God. make you be that sharp it, with it too I like swear you to God. you end up that good at Jonah because of that shit bro I swear to God oh bro. man it's so annoying bro, say like, what you were saying bro my bad I'm so sorry nah, bro you but good. that shit like, that's... I'm really like I gotta cl- I gotta Pat my eyes right now, bro. I'm fucking tearing crying, up, bro. Like, bro. I can't even handle, bro. Nah, that's shit, like, like, I thought you was... Like, you've been saying I'm crying for, like, 16, you, 16 times uh-huh. an episode. But you and really like, crying. I haven't been crying. I'm really crying right now, like, off that shit, bro. That shit really... Bro, uh uh-uh. Because it's, like, some real shit that niggas will never understand. That shit brought me right back to class, bro. That shit put oh, me God, right back bro. in school, bro, when you I said just that, bro. I felt, like, I felt the uniform on me and everything. Oh, like, God, bro. That's what I'm saying, though. Bro, like, don't... Bro, this is what... Look, let me say this one thing. You can go back to your point. My mom had me in a trick bag, bro. You know what she did, bro? This is the worst thing you could do to a kid at the DMV. What? <laughs> Buy their clothes at the uniform store. Oh, yeah, yeah. A four mom meals and shit. No, nah, I, I ain't even get to get the form of meals, nigga. My mom went to the uniform store. That shit oh, is nah. called Flint and O'Hara. That oh, mean nah. that my polo don't got nothing on it, but polo. Oh, it's a polo. Crying. So they know my it. pants. My pants not even dickies, bro. They just pants. They khaki pants. Uh-huh. Like they pants. <laughs> my shoes, oh, nigga. My shoes, nigga. They just shoes, bro. Payless shoes. Bruh, you know why I had to fight, bro. You know why I had to joke, and you know why I had to, like, turn up on the teachers. I turned up on everybody because, huh, how do you live through that shit, bro, without fucking <laughs> killing somebody? Bro, that's what I'm saying, Like, bro. think about this fact. Think about this. White kids got the nerve to go do a school shooting, but they ain't uh, never went to school in the DMV. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, though. Like, that's why I don't believe that shit, because it's like, yo, you think you really going through something. It, oh yeah, go go to school in the DMV. Yeah, we'll roll you to a DC school. You'll be yeah. Drop his ass off at skin at, at Stephen Decatur in his prime. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly, bro. 
Go ahead. Try that. Try that nice, friendly shit you was talking to <laughs> before bro, all of this. That shit is so. Boy, they gonna check that at the door. Boy, they gonna check that shit at the door. You can't be like, nice. You ever tried to be nice to get a nigga off you? Like to get a nigga to leave nah, you yeah, alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't that shit just make him go on you more? It make it go on you more, <laughs> bro. It's like, Cause they like, boy, you thought we was then friends. Then he make somebody boy. else chime in. He make somebody else chime in. <laughs> bro, you see this nigga just try to be nah. my friend. I'm about to really fuck you up. I'm about to really fuck you up right now, bro. I'm about to really fuck you up, bro. You about to cry again, bro. I'm about to really fuck you up. (laughs) Nigga, how about when you wake up in the morning and that 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 ride to school you you wish it was long as shit. Like you just like this shit seems so short because you wanted to be a long ass ride to school. Did you finally pull up and hit the speed bump and be like, yeah, we here. (laughs) We here. Get off the bus. Oh, my God. It's like, bro, yeah, I ain't even had a beer. chance like that, though, bro. I ain't even had that type of chance, bro. All my school rides, bro, was terrible, bro. They <laughs> be terrible and shit, bro. That's why, why I ain't even riding the bus, bro. Bro, because I was always on the bus with the right group of niggas oh, who yeah. love to just sit in the back and talk shit about niggas. Yeah. Like, that's all they did, bro. <laughs> bro, you know I rode the bus with Anthony Bell, bro. I'm trying to figure out who... I'm trying to remember who that is. See, but you don't know. See, this this is wise. I'm talking about wise oh, right talking now. I'm talking about wise. Oh, shit. I ain't ride the bus back then. I was in before and after kid. That's what... That shit had me really mad because I got to get in a white van every oh, day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Steve K. <laughs> bro, that's like... They was, it's like my mom wanted me to be picked on, bro. Like, I'm trying to but tell you, bro. She thing. never think about nothing she did with me, bro. She ain't think about nothing she did with me. I would come home telling her... Hey, man, they talked about, talk about him back or ignore him, let it go. It and don't I'm matter. Like, I'm like, no, it's not that simple. Look, look, I tell my, look, I would try to tell my mom, like, man, they talked about you. They said you was ugly. They said this, this, this. She said, I don't care. Them kids, they don't matter. I'm like, mom, so, I got to deal with this shit. I got to deal with like, this. What did you t- <laughs> yeah, you nonchalant about it because you don't got to go to school every fucking morning. It's so, like... <laughs> But just the whole thing. Think about this. <laughs> you don't this. know how funny this nigga actually is at school, man. Like, he really be fucking me up. And how, you, how you feel in that moment, you're not going to be... You know what I'm saying? You they make you come home and really make yourself look in the mirror. Make you look at yourself in the mirror. Bro, there's nothing you could do, bro, to feel better about yourself, bro. God. All you need is money in the DMV to get over that shit, bro. Because no, you get some money... Glad. You could do something with it. You could get something. But like if shit, you ain't nigga, got no money, money, bro, to do nothing about nothing, you're going to cry every night, bro. I you're going to fucking you, cry yourself. And especially if you already <laughs> naturally insecure about yourself. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. See, that was the best thing I had going for me is the fact that I just knew I was cute and I loved myself. Uh-huh. So it was like I would always be, like, pressed to be, like, in my mind. Like, I wouldn't say nothing because I knew I couldn't win. Yeah. And it'd be like, i just be like, yo, when I get home, dude, I knew I was sexy. I was sexy before this nigga said anything. Like, fuck you talking about. Uh, but, but also, <sighs> uh, damn. Oh, the crazy shit is, like, them bus rides, bro. I done seen some of the craziest shit on the bus in the DMV, bro. <laughs> Nah, for real. Bro, I done seen a girl... I done seen mad people fight on the bus. But I done seen a girl... Bro, I don't know I, I don't know how I never told you this story. Bro, tell me why the bus pull up in my neighborhood to drop us all off. These girls been fighting on the bus like twice. They had two fights on the bus and, and got them broken up. Same girls. Got it broken up. They And both of them... One of them sexy, but she ugly. And she got the perfect body. And the uh-huh. other one, she just bad. Like, she just bad, bro. Like, she bad, bro. Right? Uh-huh. Bro, tell me why the bus pulled in the entrance of my neighborhood, bro. And they both... Because this is what happened. They fought. Fought. Like, they fought. Right? Everybody broke them up. One person won. Then they fought, fought. And then the other person won. Everybody broke it up. Then they both hop on the phone and start calling people. Oh, oh my God. gosh. Bro, when we pulled up to the entrance of my neighborhood, bro, it was one side was that girl family and the other side was the other girl family. What and I'm talking fuck? about it's little kid. I'm talking about it's little kids outside, bro. It's little kids with them. When I tell you these bitches couldn't even wait for the bus to stop, bro, they opened the back of the bus to hop off and fight, bro. Bro, what the f- bro? 
When I tell you, I don't know why this happened. Now that I look back, I'm like, the bus driver realized stop. Like, well, he was on some dirty type of time too, though. <laughs> <laughs> but the bus stopped, bruh, when they hopped out. Bruh. When I tell you, them bitches started fighting right there, and everybody on the bus is watching this through the back door of the bus, bruh. And then on top of that, the families is recording. Both sides of the families is recording, talking about some get her, get her, get her. But what the Whoop fuck kind of toxic shit is this? Like, bruh, grown men. I'm talking about grown men holding their phone up. Beat that bitch, beat that bitch, and bro, and, and they got little kids outside, like little daughters, little uh-huh. sons. Bruh, this is this ain't even the craziest part. So. The girl who won last one again, and she kind of stronger, so she won, but the other bitch is just crazy, so here we go. She go to her friend who's standing right there with a with a, with a a purse and reach in this purse and pull out this big-ass kitchen knife. Of course. And cut that bitch on, the, on her face, bro, on her God forehead, bro. damn. Like, right across her fucking forehead, down through her eyebrow. Like, almost cut the bitch eye out, bro. This is fucking insane. And let me tell you, man. this when the bus driver want to drive off. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Damn, it's getting real violent. It's time nah, to go. Now he driving. <laughs> ah, damn. Like, for what? That's why I say, like, what the fuck is going... When I tell you, bro, that made me so relaxed. Like, everybody on that bus the next day, we was quiet as fuck. It wasn't no Jonah. I was so happy, bro. It wasn't uh-huh. no Jonah. Bro, that's why I used to love the bus, though. Like, the bus drive is when I got most of my jokes. Most of my jokes got in there. <laughs> Uh-huh. And I could, I could, I could kind of win versus the niggas I would never beat in in the school. Like, I wouldn't get them in the school. <laughs> but on that bus ride, it ain't many niggas on their side, so I can fuck around and get one joke. But that's the and thing. He really look it. like he really looked like what I said just uh-huh. now. So it's like it kind of stick through the whole ride. He can't say nothing else. It's just him trying to, you that, know what I mean? That's the thing about the niggas in school because then it's like you gonna hire your niggas that's dick riding. It's an army, bro. The niggas army, be having the, an army the with army. them, and you can't say nothing even if the joint don't hit. Nick, the army gonna make it hit. Oh God. They gonna push it through the, bro. Then if you bruh, say some, let you culture. say some good shit. Niggas, niggas want to laugh so bad, but they trying not to laugh because it's you that said it. If it was him that what said it. What you mean it, by say some good shit? What like, do you mean? Like, we got to explain what okay. we mean because don't nobody speak our language. We got to understand like, if that. You say, they don't know unless you there. Like, what you just said, like, if you say what he really, if you say that he looked like something that he really looked like and that shit ugly to, like, niggas, that shit <laughs> ugly to niggas, and then them niggas, his niggas, and his niggas. Like, like everybody can't his, resist type shit. Them, it, it'll be some niggas that'll laugh and be like crying. It'll be that one nigga that on his side that's just crying because he know that's funny. But everybody on this side know it's funny, but they don't want to laugh because it's you that said it. You know what I'm saying? You ever you ever had my bad for eating? I know you good. But you, but you ever had a nigga right who say some shit that's not funny, right? Uh huh. Well, like he got he like he just got numbers on you, and you say something back and it's funny, and. Everybody on his side is so mad that you, what you said was funny that they all at the same start, same time start shouting out shit. Like shit, yeah, yeah. Boy, what you talking about, boy? Look at your shoes. Another nigga said, look at your shirt, boy. You ugly, boy. Look at your that shit is so oh, annoying. That shit is like, what the fuck, bro? I, I don't walk away after that. Like, when yo, that shit starts going down, I'm, I'm walking away. <laughs> like, y'all got it, bro. Bro, you got it? You got it? Uh-huh. Bro, that shit means so much in the DMV, I bro. swear to God. That's it, that's See, it. but that's what's crazy, bro. Childish Gambino, real life, had that shit on his album. He was like, you remember World Star? He was like, you got it, bro. I don't even want to fight homie no more. Uh-huh. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, damn. Like, that's some DMV shit right there. I don't know if that video was from the DMV, like that clip, but uh-huh. that's some DMV shit right there. He was like, he said, oh, y'all gonna jump me? Y'all gonna jump me? He's like, all right, I don't even want to fight no more. You got you it. You got it, cuz. Like, shit. Damn. <laughs> I don't even want to fight homie no more. You but, got it, cuz. But this the thing. Uh, I, I'm going to get back to this. I think about the fact that... I'm, go ahead and say this, but I'm going to say this little thing before you say that. Uh-huh. You know how motherfuckers in the DMV say cuz, but don't even be crips? Nah, but facts. Yeah, facts. Or homes. <laughs> <laughs> they're not even Mexican. 
Like, you next, love going on niggas who say hoes. Like, Why they get on your nerves so because much? Because this is the thing. Out here in San Diego, that's what they say out here. They say a home, like they like Mexicans, they say homes and food. They say homes and food out here. So it's just like, nigga, oh, why right, do niggas right, in right. the DMV say homes and food? Like, they be like, homes or food. Or food. Like, I said this food. before, though, bro. We be so late to shit, and we be thinking we, <laughs> we run it, it, we run it, and this is our shit. <laughs> It's some old ass shit that nobody using no more, or it be some shit that's from a whole nother coast that you don't even know where it exactly. originated or what it even. Mean. You just fucking saying it like, and then you dare me to say something else. Like sign, like remember when niggas used to you say go sign. Go on me if I say something. They else. don't like, say why sign. Why you talking no proper? Like, oh, you blow niggas me sign. Niggas hate when you talk proper out in the DMV. Nah, facts. What was you about to say though? Nah, I was gonna say now nah, eighth grade in San Diego, like out here, it's like don't nobody like. Going from like boy, boy, boy to don't nobody <laughs> roast, but everybody want to talk about you behind your back, though. Damn. Like, just, just I don't like that. Like, yeah, like, I'd rather you just like, I'd just rather go be roasted, like, because <laughs> like, I got a chance to say some shit. Exactly. Or I can just hit your ass. Like, if some I want shit. To. Like, if I'm I, really de- ready to fight. Oh, God. Like, a nigga, a nigga just be nice to you, like, in your face, and then, like, <laughs> when he with his real friends, he like, yeah, man, I don't fuck with him. Like, he, he said, da, 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 don't I, nobody roast. Don't nobody don't roast. Don't nobody but see, roast. But, see, but look though, like that's see, but that's see, but that's that shit I don't like. Shout out to Chief Keep again. Uh huh. Yeah. But that's that shit I don't like, bro. It be like real life, bro. Like, I swear to God, bro, like, I hate the DMV. I love it so much. It make you a better like person. Like. Every, <laughs> But it's everything I love, everything I know, and it's like my family's there, and it's like, yeah. I love going home in the DMV. Like, it's something about going home in the DMV, like, it's but a, at the same time, bro, it's like, ah, fucking, it's always something around the fucking corner out there, nice. motherfucker, bro. It's always something like two seconds from happening. You always gotta be ready. Uh-huh. It's, On every say, front, uh, though, because if you ain't ready, you gonna lose in some ways... And be safe and other people. I'd rather be, be like, free. Yo, I still lost today. Bro. I'd rather be free. Crazy. Like that's why I like being out here because I feel free and I feel like shit, I run this shit. Like I feel like that. And so if you talk yeah. about me, it's like it's cool. But like in the DMV, I could still feel like I run this shit. But it's like that ain't gonna stop you from going on me. Like that'll make you want to go on me <laughs> even more. That's gonna make you hate me so much. Exactly. More, bro. <laughs> Be, like what the I fuck I'm gonna be your see? target. You remember how niggas used to target one nigga for a week? Nigga. Like they just target you. I was that nigga. Like, I was the ass. nigga that everybody he'll targeted. You, he'll bro. see you the next day, bro. <laughs> he'll see you the next day. Be like, boy, I'm on your ass. What you thought it was a break, nigga? You thought you could relax, like, nigga? I see you thinking you cool today too. Are like, oh, you coming here today thinking it was over, nigga? It ain't over. Like, bro, I swear to God, them niggas make you want to hit them in the face every fucking day. Oh, but look God. though. What's the first shit we started talking about when we got to California, bro? Re- remind me. How we got the advantage because oh, yeah. of where we're from. Uh-huh. Yeah. I they mean, don't... Right. Cali not ready for us because yeah. we from the DMV. Like, we, we, we went through all of this. Even though we not DMV niggas, we still got that shit in us. Like... You There's no way to run from it. It's That's not, why I told you when I started talking to you more, it just come out. Like, because you remind me so much of being back there. Facts. That I start being that nigga I was when I was last there again. Like shit, right. nah, likewise. And then you do this shit out there, not to be cool per se, but you do it to be cool. Like, it, people make you want to be cool because you not know. being cool to everybody else out there is such a fucking problem and hassle to live with, bro. It, so it'd be like you be a, trying to figure out a way to do it without with, by still being yourself. And it's it, a mental jail that for real because bro. it's like the cool niggas. Yeah. We could have we could have went on the cool niggas. They had we could have really went on the cool niggas, but at my but head, they, they, they would, I'm like they cool. Yeah. So it's just like what the what am I gonna say about him? You got some fuck your Jordans. Why would up. I even try? Yeah, 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 yeah you yeah. know what I'm saying. I wanted like my Jonas style. I wanted to really say some like shit that niggas ain't really never even thought of. Like, but at like, the same time, I ain't even want. And we gotta say start saying roasting because that's the only thing people know. The people yeah, don't roasting, know Jonas. When Jonah, you say Jonas, yeah. I don't well, even know how Atlanta, to spell Jonas on the iPhone. That shit coming from <laughs> that shit come from Atlanta. Niggas in Atlanta call it like Jonas, but they say it different. Like, All right, so like, we can say Jonas then because Atlanta run the rap game right now. But so Atlanta, we, know this the thing. Well, uh, Maryland. DMV but slang. The, DMV slang get that shit from Atlanta. 
Oh yeah, but did everything from the DMV ain't from the fucking DMV. Yeah, facts. what you talk about? Nah, yeah. everything we got is from something else. It's just, it's just our accent. It's just our accent is just the best. We got the best accent. I'm not going. Yeah, on. it's like niggas be like, uh, I mean, no, it, it, our accent not even nothing. It's just a little bit of country. Yeah. Because when I go other places and I be like, I'm from Maryland, they be like, did you just say Merlin? Are you like, country? Like shit, <laughs> Merlin. Well, like, nigga, I didn't even notice I, I said I, that. I used to tell niggas all the time, or keep repeating that shit. Like, boy, I'm not that's country. That's crazy, bro. Country. That is crazy. Because like, I just you was country, talking to you somebody. Say Merlin. I just was outside. It's not Merlin. At the, at the it's Charlie Maryland. Station. Like, it's Maryland. <laughs> I just at the Charlie you Station talking to this girl that I know. And uh-huh. she asked me where was I from, and I said I'm from Maryland. Like, and she's like, "Oh, that that makes sense. You got an accent, cause you got an accent." I'm like, "I'm not. I don't even really notice it. I don't ever notice it." You don't notice it because you're so used to being around people who speak the way you speak, and then you also have such a you have a a, a large uh what's it called a uh, uh you have a diverse you know you you used to talking. To a mad different type of people from yeah. all over, so you get you like me in the sense where you don't even hear yourself because you're so used to hearing different shit. Uh huh. But to go back to your Jonah topic, what you just was saying, it's certain niggas that was up that I wouldn't even say say shit to either, and they wasn't up. They was just popular at the time. But That's up. I didn't say nothing because. Cause certain girls be looking, bro. Uh huh. Certain girls be with them and all around, and I just be like. She'll fuck up my whole shit. It's like, I know my joan gonna work, but I know if I say it, she's still gonna leave with that nigga, and it's gonna make me feel like shit either way. And if it don't hit, she gonna watch me fall in front of... Nah, Uh nah, hell no. I'm not even saying that to that nigga, bro. You got it, bro. Speaking of girls... Go ahead, bro. Nigga, you know... You remember Jesse? The white dude, Jesse? Of course. And he He punched his... Then he punched... Then he lets he let somebody punch him in the face in class. Who he let punch in the face him he in did? the face in class? I didn't Who? never know that. Yeah, we talk about the same type of nigga. I know we talk about the same nigga because he gave Maya a hundred dollars. I used to I used to have Miss Watts class with him. That's why I thought she was. I thought you, uh, bro. He gave all this Maya time $100. we went to the same schools. We ain't never have a class together. Who except for geometry? Me and you me had and you. me and you. We had our uh, first period together. We have That's first, what I'm saying. Geometry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was geometry. It, but that teacher quit off, off, off top. Remember, yeah, she right. quit off top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She quit and off top. And it was top. just nothing. We ain't do shit in that class for a whole school year, bro. Oh, God. And then the, 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 the black dude, the, the, the dark ass dude was bro, the substitute. Bro, he got kicked out for watching porn watching on porn. this shit. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I used to hate that nigga, bro. He was like the black version of Miss Staves. You remember Miss Staves? That name sounds so familiar, bro. The dyke ass black. Uh, second, I used to want to fuck her, bro. But she was my the gym teacher at Francis T. Evans. Yeah, you know, I, know about, I know you talking about. 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 Oh my God, about. Miss Staves had the big ass titties, boy. Oh, I was trying to play ball with them titties, I'm bro. Crying. Damn. <laughs> Damn, Miss Staves. Staves. Nah, Ooh, I, Miss, like I swear Miss to God, Nystrom. bro. Like, like I swear to God, bro. That used to be my fucking. I think she had a like. It's something like. Go ahead, go ahead. Say what you were saying. Nah, I was I'm like, a, I'm gonna bring it up. Nah, I was like Miss Nystrom and Miss Miss Wheeler. Bro, I was on Miss Nystrom. Bro, I was on everybody. Bro, I had to fuck Miss Musser if she was with it. Oh yeah, Miss Musser. Uh huh. I had to put my dick in her nostril with her fat nose ass. I'm crying. I just, I, I, I swear, only. No, nah, you know, this is what this is who you really, was really trying to smash to. Don't even lie, bro. You was trying to smash Miss Johnson. To Miss Johnson. At the desk, bro. Talking about, the uh, fat, nice, luscious Bratz lips. She remember the, you know, the Bratz dolls. Her lips was like the Bratz dolls, bro. Did she had the ass? Come on, dog. You don't know Miss Johnson. Oh, the, see, you was in trouble, so you ain't always had to go to the office. Uh-huh. I used to ha- always have to go to the office, so Miss Johnson was always at the office. She'd be like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, uh, huh. You in trouble again? Oh. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm in trouble again. I'm coming to see you, Miss Johnson. Like shit. <laughs> like shit. <laughs> She's like, boy, stop playing with me. You old enough to be my son. I'm like, bitch, I'm old enough to fuck. Like, what is you oh, talking sure. about? Like, let me hit, bro. <laughs> like, shit, like, nah, you was, you, nah you was going crazy. You, you were definitely ahead. You were definitely ahead. Bro, I was always in trouble, bro. And that's what made me ahead because I was always around adults. I always yeah. had, get to, like, they be up there talking so much gossip. Like, I used to just be sitting there listening. Like, I used to know everything that was going on, the real shit that was going on because... 
I would hear them talking about it, bro. Like uh, I just used to listen to adults everywhere I went. Nigga, and, all like, I wanted to do at but, that time was play the game. That's all I wanted to do is go home and play the game. See, but that's the thing. I ain't never had no game system either as a kid. Uh, so you had that advantage. I ain't. I just, like I told you, I just bought a PS4. This is my first PS4 I ever owned in my nah, whole life. I just bought that shit. Like, Cause I ain't never like you. You never was the type of nigga that like play games unless you know what I'm saying it's a game around. It's not that I'm hating on them, and I, I wish I could have did that, but I never had it. So no, I, I always had the motherfucking shit. That's why. That's probably what hold, held me back a little bit. I just always just wanted to. I was a game nerd. That's all I wanted to do was play the game, play the game, play the game. I'm trying to get in the game. That's it. <laughs> that probably did, that see that probably did stunt your growth with women too though because you ain't out there with them. Facts. Like you playing the game and it's uh-huh. like the thing about the thing about like women is like you gonna take like three hundred losses before you get twenty wins. Oh, I, nigga, so I like, know, nigga. I know that. I know you know, nigga, because yeah. you've been taking them. But That's I'm it. saying, like, the reality is you got to get to that point where you done had that ratio, uh, that ratio, and then it, it it it's a point. I don't know what happened, but it's really a point where that shit shift, and it be, like, 300 wins and 20, lo- 20 losses, and now can't no girl tell you nothing because you done already had... You only got 20 losses, and you done yeah. had your 20 losses for the year. So, shorty, you ain't no loss. Stop trying to play me like I'm like you a fucking loss. You, on, but that's you the, on me. Like, I'm not stupid, bro. But that's the thing. Like, like, yeah, I, that's how I feel. And it's just like, I feel like that that's now. That's how you feel, but I don't know if you really like... But I don't you really do want the, the girl. I don't want the girl that bad to be trying to put in no work for her. Right. So, it's just like, that's what I'm, I'm doing no game it's not about, favor. But think about it. This is what I meant to say. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. That episode, episode 54, I was not saying that you fucking had to... Like, who was your man? I, I did not say you had to... When I was saying put in the work, I was never saying put in the work for a girl. Yeah. I'm saying you doing the work on you oh, yeah. and focusing on you and making you better yeah, yeah, is yeah. what's going to... It's just going to change the whole dynamic okay. of anything you do with a woman. Yeah. Because yeah. if you perfect you... Like, I'm trying to tell you, this is all I did, bro. And it, and, and it was easy for me because, like I said, I was in that group home and I got to watch the other niggas go smack at every girl before me. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And I fell back and I was just smart enough to be quiet. I knew I wasn't ready, so no, I was you like, was in a situation where that, that, that's that's in your favor because if endless niggas going smack, it's just and you right there, you just not really thinking. But about not it. even they not. It's not like the same, like three niggas going smack at one girl. Oh, no, it's yeah. just. It's just they go and smack at the girls in this school, and it's like they kind of unleash them niggas on that school. And I came through with the best, with the best, with the best game ever, ever out my mouth. Like I had the best shit to say yeah. to them because I knew, I knew right where they was at at that moment. Like I knew where they was at, how they was feeling. I knew what this nigga just said. I knew how confused she was. I knew how better looking I was. Uh-huh. So it was just like, and I ain't go for everything. I went for a lot, but I ain't go for everything, and I didn't get a lot. Uh-huh. Like for every four I, girls I, that was fucking with me, it was thirteen that was like, nah. I said, who, who I clung to their white boyfriend and was like, he's better than you. Yeah. And gave me reasons why, like. Yo, this nigga got a car. This nigga got a fucking career. This nigga got a fucking like he's going to college. Like, you ain't on nothing. You a fucking group home kid. But then like, that shit crazy. Like when I think about stuff like that, I'm like, yo, it really. It, I know y'all. I know girls. Y'all don't really care about that shit. It's like they I, don't. But but she's on that type of time right now, and uh, I would just leave her alone. She wants to ride that ride right now. That's uh, the yeah. ride she wants to ride. Let her ride it, and one day she gonna be old and decrepit, and she gonna have to fuck right. with a nigga like me, and uh-huh. I'm gonna already be wifed up. Yeah, that's just how it go, and it's like I, I always knew that, and it was too many. That's another thing. You got to go to bigger schools, like, well, not schools, but you got to go to places where the ratio of women to men is always. Uh, San Francisco. Not, no. It's like what? What? San Francisco. What you say? Yeah, you you likely to meet a tranny out there too. No, nah, this the thing. So just watch yourself. They say they say that in San Francisco, so many gay dudes out there that like the straight girls. That's what I'm saying. The straight girls be like, as soon as it's a, like a heterosexual male out there, and they sh- I, I go smack yeah, it. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. They going for that, it. But the, the trans niggas be loving. <laughs> but you know what a tra- you know a tranny. You see. 
Like, yeah, I mean, not really. I mean, not these days. I used to be able to know in the beginning of all this trans shit. Oh, Christ. But right about now, I don't be knowing until it's too late sometimes. I be like, oh. Oh, <laughs> I should have never liked it. Should have never liked that picture. I'm crying, bro. Like, I'm talking in person. Like in person, you know. I mean, in person, you know, of course, because especially if they say something, you oh, gonna yeah. be like, "Oh God, oh, yeah, you the devil's here." License. <laughs> I just like, yo, oh my goodness, that's the topic for another pod. No, because <laughs> that pod, that pod, I'm going in like, because I just was talking about this shit yesterday. I give you a snippet. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you just want... Nigga, to... talk about it. We done talked about so much in this pod. I, I, I this shit, this shit, this is a Friday. This, this, but I'm about to say, this is how the Friday pods be with me because I ain't got to go to work tomorrow. Oh, so yeah, the Friday uh-huh. pod is going to be so much... I'm ready to edit for two hours, three hours. Like, shit, this shit hard. <laughs> so, like... Yeah. I'm just like... I ain't, uh, no, ain't gonna lie. Let me say this, though. Uh, I ain't like the pod when we first started. I, I ain't like it. Like, because the whole plan was to have a nigga on the pod. Uh, uh, so it's like, the whole shit... That's like, how... Really that's, this like, is how it went. It was like, when we first he tried started... To take my, he tried to take the energy low-key. Like, I ain't gonna lie. How you say he tried to... <laughs> but it was... Like, that don't, like, and not I, even intentionally, but uh, just that whole situation really, like... In the beginning. It had me a little, like... I was on, I was on go, and then, it, like, I had to, like... I felt calm it, down and then and then go again. I ain't like that. I don't like, like in that the shit. beginning, it was like I knew I I felt that you like, I felt like that you was like kind of thrown off because we really like we we just expected to have somebody on it and be talking to somebody and shit. And right. then as we start talking about what we was talking about, you soon as you soon as you say you wanted to bring up what we talked about last night, then that's why I was like, oh yeah, we 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 back on track. Yeah, I, I, but that's why I did that. That's why I brought it up because I knew that it would be like, I'd be able to talk then. I wasn't going to be able to talk if we would just try to do some normal shit, like through, like how, like act like everything normal. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, that the fuck that everything <laughs> I had to just bring it back to something when it was normal because that was hard. Like we, last night we was on 10, 15. We should have started the pod last night. Nah, facts. But, but if we, we would have known guests, this. So we, he's. <laughs> Like stop hating, bro. Come on. No, no, yeah, I'm he done had enough. He done. You told he done had enough. He funny as shit. Nah, shout out to the Godson the Pharaoh, man. He's, he's a real man. I fuck with his music. I fuck with his whole vibe. I fuck with with his with his point in doing what he do is. But like I said, like bro, I don't know how to deal. Like, look, this is no shots, bro. I hope niggas don't be taking niggas, shots. Bro. And even if niggas do, they can they can take shots if they want to because I'm not sending no shots. Uh-huh. But like. The reality is, like, I don't know how in 2021 motherfuckers function without an iPhone, bro. I don't get it. Nah, like shit. It's like, I don't know how they don't know that that shit holding them, not hold, like, that shit holding them back. Nah, uh, that's the whole thing, though. Like, that's my whole point of making music on my phone. It's like, niggas, do you know that I can make consistent albums and produce everything? On the Mix phone, it, engineer, though. record from my phone? And you fucking... Don't even have one. Like, it ain't like you just use your Android to call people. Because I was that nigga at one point, too. Uh-huh. I had... I wasn't trying to pay no max... No no hard-ass phone bill for no iPhone. So I just said, I'm going to fucking pay fucking $20, $10 a month on this little this little trap phone. Uh-huh. But that's going to be my call and text. You want to message me on the iPhone, wait till I get Wi-Fi, and that's what it is. Yeah. But I'm going to do everything else on that phone, bro. Because right. that phone has so many options for creators. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. I, I just don't know how niggas... And, do but how you got iPhone Instagram, and but you don't got an iPhone? It's no point in being on Instagram, if you ask me, if you... If you like, I don't, what you on Instagram for? I know you trying to promote this shit. You got to promote it Yo, in the stop, highest quality. Man, going. Like, I'm just saying, you got to promote it in the highest quality. Like... Because then if you, if you post some shit with the Android, like... Bruh, we ain't never going to get a guest on this show. Bruh, no. Nah, we, we, <laughs> we ain't never going to get a guest on this show. <laughs> like, That's look how y'all niggas did, that nigga. Nah, but... Bro, that's fucked shout up, Shout out to him, bro. We fuck with you, guys, son. We, and you know we fuck with you. Facts. It's just the reality. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know. This, this is the thing about the internet, too. I feel like people don't be saying stuff to people about what's wrong with their business. Like, if you see somebody doing something, 
wrong or they not doing their business mm-hmm. the way that they could be doing it better to get them where they want to be. Uh-huh. And you see them on Instagram or something, people do not be saying nothing, bro. They not don't tell real. you that you fucking doing it wrong. Like, yeah. I've been, I was that nigga, bro. I've been on Instagram at least 15 times doing marketing, doing different shit, trying different strategies, social media, like, working my shit, trying to figure out how to make it work. And I done did it 10 times stu- stupidly. And nobody said shit, bro. Yeah. But like, maybe, they ain't saying nothing, ain't. bro. They just yeah. let me look stupid, bro. I ain't gonna say maybe they didn't know because in this, in this, no, nah, I think that about. they didn't know because it's shit that they don't do because they be watching me go through the bullshit. They don't do nothing. Like shit. They just sit back and, and, and either, even if they don't, just sit back. I end up looking at what they doing and then once I start doing it, my shit start working. Then all of a sudden, I'll be like, yo, why you ain't tell me that, bro? You've been following me for three years, nigga, and you ain't tell me that. All I had to do was what you was doing. Like, why you ain't tell me what you was doing? Bro, real life, when I used to uh, post shit real consistent, like, every 5, 10, 15 minutes I had a post coming up. Like, either on my story, on my Twitter, on my fucking Instagram, right? Uh Uh-huh. I made a post, right, and this nigga commented, like, instantly. I made another post, nigga commented instantly, like, as soon as I dropped the post. So I was like, this nigga using some software or some shit, right? (laughs) I asked this nigga, how do you get your shit out there like that with that? Like, how do you, how are you able to comment on so many pages at one time? Because I got, I had multiple pages. Like, I had my photography page, and then I had my music page. And this nigga would comment on both at the same time. Like, he fucking on some other shit, right? Uh And I'm like, how do you do that? He said, it's a software. And I said, bro, what's the name of the software? This nigga said, I can't tell you. Bro, what? What? Oh, I can't tell you, and if I tell you, I gotta kill you. Like, <laughs> gatekeep, <laughs> gatekeeping ass niggas, bro. I don't understand why. So you with me, like, so with me, so with me, <laughs> I just tell it. I just tell niggas, bro. I don't think that shit really working. Like, you gotta do it right. Like, you gotta do it if you want the results you want, and you gotta be willing to under to know that you might not be doing it right. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't just always swear you you on or. Like I said, I'm all with niggas doing it how they want to do it. Maybe he, niggas want to do it like that. But Maybe niggas want to be on their Android until they fucking rich. I don't know yeah. if you're going to get rich like that, but like, <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't hate. I'm crying. I'm not hating. No, you're not hating. I'm just, you're just like, telling the truth. I'm just saying it from my po- my perspective, like, and my perspective ain't the, the best perspective. It's I mean, just you my can't, but like, if you on Instagram trying to, like, Sell like you, you are you're business. Gonna, you're not you really as a promoting business. your shit. You're promoting like, a, <laughs> like people really gotta believe in the idea of what you're talking about. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Because you, you ain't got nothing going for you in a sense. Like you, 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 you holding yourself back by the quality. That's what it is. It's like yeah. the quality holds you back, and that it holds you back sonically. It holds you back with pictures. Facts. Why you think I ain't got no real album covers with my face on it? Because, because I don't want that camera. type of quality yeah. on my shit. Facts. I'd rather wait until I can pay a photographer. It's facts. You know what I mean? It's like when I go and join and a it's... girl live and she on an Android, I leave that joint. I don't sit there and look at that shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like nah, for real. Bro, you gonna make me I don't care how bad it is. some funny shit. When I put some food in my mouth. Like, bro, she can she look nice, like she look nice, but it's like she on the Android, so it's like it really distort it distort how nice she look. You know what I'm saying? That's like bro, what's up with him? It's bro? like playing San Andreas. Like it's like playing old Grand Theft Auto versus playing Grand Theft Auto Five. Like you're not about to play San Andreas. Even though like for the nostalgia, like yeah, but like you know that shit don't look good. Like that shit just look it could look better. I feel yeah, I play it for the nostalgia until I get pissed at the graphics. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like they got box hands. You can you, you can go. I be mad as shit at the controllers and the graphics, and then I'm done. I'm off the game. That's what I'm saying. Like so, you got like it's quite like quality is really important, bro. Like that shit is important. Nigga, it's the most important thing. Facts. Quality. I and charge quantity. niggas. Like hell yeah, but you ain't even gotta have that much quantity if you got good quality. Yeah, facts. That's the that's the blessing of that's the importance of quality. You know what I mean? One is yeah. still kind of more important than the other because you don't need the other if you got one. But nice. look, what the fuck was we talking about before we brought this shit up? Well, you keep asking them questions. <laughs> huh? 
Here I go. Because I was too cute asking them questions. You knew I was going to ask. I don't know why you fucking went that deep on that shit. That's why I was trying to hurry up and get off of it so we could fucking get back to what we was talking about. <coughs> but the reality is, bro. No, I was talking about the girls and how, like, um, I had that advantage, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, yeah. The reality is the DMV is fucking crazy. And when I say crazy, I mean crazy in a good way and I mean a bad way. Like it's just it's just as good as it as it is bad. Like I used to love cuffing my pants. <laughs> Tucking, tucking my my tank top and my <laughs> Bruh, tank tank tops, wife beaters. Bro, I used to love fucking sitting down like with my feet pointed at a at an acute angle at oh, a forty five degree. Bro. Right? Chill, <laughs> chill, bro. He told he... Bro, what's bro. up with niggas in the DMV, bro? We do all we all do the same shit, bro. I swear to God, like, we bro. really do, bro. Like, what's wife, up with this? wife beaters, wife beaters and skinny what's up with this, and Jordans, bro? and Jordans, like. But we gotta have our underwear showing a little no, bit yeah, over the, with the jeans. The jeans gotta be a little tight, but a little baggy. Yeah. Like we gotta have it like a little. Like, bro, what's up with this, bro? I'm just, I'm just tripping off the old slang and like how don't nobody in the DMV say old, old DMV slang like when we was in middle school. What happened? What happened? What, what old slang? Bring it back. Let like, me know. like son. Yeah, was I around? Yeah, yeah, facts. Like, oh yeah, we don't say son no like more. What son, to like son, like son, uh, like uh, what else? Um, son, son went from son to to S A H N. But look though. That's another thing about the about New York. New York say son. They oh, say yeah. son every day. Facts. Like they still say son to this day. Like it's like it never left. Like that shit ain't never went nowhere in New York. What's up with us? We used to say that. We used to say uh. We used to say guh a lot. We used to say guh a lot. Don't nobody say that oh no more. Oh my god, bro! I just I want to hit you for saying. <laughs> <laughs> you got me guh. You remember, you remember when we first started partying and I got mad that you said champ? Yeah, I remember that episode. It's like, why would you say that shit, bro? That bro. is so champ. Like, that, the fact champ. that you said champ, champ. is champ. <laughs> Stop. Like, Stop. Bro. Stop, bro. I can't breathe. That shit champ, bro. Yo, don't nobody else, but nobody from the DMV really know what the fuck we even talk about. But even like, dude, dude. All right, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this since you've been in California longer than me. Do anybody say bye when they talking about body? Cause in the DMV we say any bye, any bye, like bye, hurry <laughs> bye. What's up? Er, er and bye. <laughs> Stop. Like er bye. Yo, so you got shit. Ja like, like ja like, ja like. Stop, son. Why are we shitting on where we from, bro? We gonna get killed, Yo, bro. Because that shit funny, us? like ja, like. This is another thing, though. Like, do you think other people from other places laugh at us? Like, like we laughing right now, or do you think they just I think, think it's probably just weird confused. or confused? Like, and they, they just, just keep confused moving. and they just like I don't know what that means, but okay. Like, if I go, if I go up to a girl, like, you don't think they really think we're crazy, though? Uh, they think, I, I think my, my thing is my thing is you don't see a lot of people in the DMV with other people that's not in the DMV. I'm trying to figure out what's why why isn't it like normal to be from the DMV? It's almost like like we're not a part of because it's like we just so country and hood at the same time. It's just like don't nobody with the DMV say urban. It's like country and city. You mean yeah yeah country and city yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's like... Because it's, it's hood everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 But we still get over there. Right? You know what I mean? Everybody hood. But, like, we don't only want to say er, poor. er, bye. Poor, like, hood is just being poor. <laughs> like, we can... Say what? We the only motherfuckers that say er, 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 bye, y'all, like, throwing me off, mo. <laughs> like, we the Stop. only one that talk like Why that. Like, don't nobody ever... Home? 
Oh, dear. V sentence, bro. You get about fucking Like, nerd, we say, bro. like, you, five bro. slang words <laughs> in one sentence, though. Like, it's a mean, it's a you slang for one everything. real word. That's what I'm saying. Like, out here in Cali, like, at least when they say, uh, they say, uh, and then, the, oh, yeah, that, I just did it right there. We prolong the shit out of words. Like, Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> Mer- Merlin, off of Merlin. Like, but they probably think we slow. Like, that's that's the. Yo, I'm mad. Like, <laughs> Yo, I'm mad that you used the word prolong. Like, bro. Bro, that ain't even a word a DMV nigga would use. Is like, prolong. prolong. <laughs> you talking about dragged it out? Like, nah, just imagine a DMV nigga using big words. <laughs> bruh, nigga, this is the problem, bro. I was that nigga who read the dictionary and I read the thesaurus and I had a rhyming dictionary in my book bag at all times. Uh-huh. So I used to get on people's nerve when I would use big words, bro, because they would, that's when niggas would start drowning on me. As soon as I say something smart, they would go on me, bro. They'd be like, nigga, who the fuck you think you is, nigga? Like, uh, Fuck is you, boy? And then they start looking at my clothes. And uh, look, yeah, this yeah. is what I hate about Joan and bro back in the DMV. On um, um, who, bro? Look, we say this shit too. On um, um, who? Um, who? <laughs> Stamp it on somebody. You remember when it was put it on somebody? That, that, wait, what dude, we <laughs> don't never don't nobody say that. Don't nobody stamp it no more. Stamp, stamp. stamp what bro. the fuck are we really saying? Stamp <laughs> on a dead person? Like let stamp that nigga rest it. in peace. We talk about stamp. Like, bro, like, like, what's up with him, man? Like, I stand. But look, though. On who? That a nigga joining on you, especially when he looking at you, that he will come up to you and grab your shirt real quick and pluck, like, flick, huh. <laughs> like, snatch your shirt for a second and, like, look at you like, wait, what's up with your shirt, boy? Like, nice shit. Boy, look at... Nigga will get on his knees, bro. Like, like he'll crouch down, not on his knees, yeah, like, but he'll crouch down. And dust your toes off. <laughs> bro, they used to do the most out there, bro. He'll grab the side of your pants and, like, grab him, like, what's up with your pants? Like, like shit. Like, yo, what, why is you touching me, bro? What's up Man, with you? Uh, Can yeah. we fight? Like, Can shit. we fight on that? Like, you're not trying to fight. you just trying to jump, but you, you get but you to touch me you gonna touch me, touch me and that? shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't touch you, though. Are we oh, yeah, up? yeah, yeah. Like, don't touch, like, you touch him back. Like, look, don't touch me, nigga. Like, oh, nah, like, yeah, nigga, talk- you just fucking touched me. What's up with you? You just grabbed my hair, nigga, and Toxic. talked about it. What's up with you? Toxic. I should be able to smoke you right now. <laughs> That's like, girls always want to say, like, oh, what's your sign? What's your sign? And, like, as soon as you say your sign, they want to say you toxic. No, you need to ask where niggas is from. you like, you, you from, where you from? Oh, I'm from Maryland. Oh, yeah, I'm not fucking with you. I used to hate when girls asked me where I was from in Maryland. I'm like, Charlie, I'm not from oh my gosh. nowhere that got no name to it. All you of that shit is the same. Like, I don't mean that every hood. But you don't know shit about where I'm from. Where I'm from is normal people live there, and it ain't no reputation with it. Facts. So don't even ask me that shit. I don't have no reputation with where I'm from. I'm from fucking Clinton. What, what bitch? You want to come to Clinton yeah. and fuck with me? Nigga, so I thought I thought Clinton was hood. Like I really thought Clinton was hood. Like Clinton, not even really Clinton hood. Ain't fucking hood. Clinton is just old black people living in Clinton, bro. And then I moved to my fucking um, Temple Hills, and I was like, yeah. I now you getting closer to. The- <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The fucking Temple Hills then moved well, to the creek. You was asking for the smoke once you moved to the Temple. Then niggas moved to Forest Creek. Like, you know what I'm mean? saying? Oh, damn, you live in the bruh, creek. Bro, Iverson Mall, bro. Iverson How Mall. Is Iverson oh, Mall? my goodness. Suit, bro, I used to go to Sabero, the Sabero with my mom, bro, and we would just get two. She would get a slice of pizza, and I would get a big-ass slice of pizza. We used to sit there and eat that drink. Bro. That it's too. a Sabero. That, that's the thing, too. I'm about to fuck your head over. That's the thing, too. Street names. Street names. Street uh, don't don't get on me with street names. I was never the nigga who knew the street names. You, look, this is how niggas come up to me. And hey, you know so and so from the creek? No, nigga, so not so no, from, not street names. So and so from thirteenth block. No, listen, listen, oh, listen. Ahead. So and so from thirteenth block of thirty fourth street. Nigga, I don't know what thirty fourth street means. But like, I know what it means because you a fucking goon in my face right now. But I do not know what the fuck thirty fourth street is. Nah, I mean street like, names. Let me stop when saying thirty fourth street because when I was locked up. 
Bruh, them niggas used to love talking about the streets they was from. It be niggas from Mount Rainier talking oh, about this hood. I'm from 34th. 34th? What does that mean? 34th? Like, niggas say that like it's a whole hood. And it is a whole hood. Yeah. But I mean, like, street crazy. names when your parents say them. Like, St. Barnabas Road. <laughs> Yo, St. Barnabas, bro. My mom used to go to St. Barnabas Church, bro, for a little meetings and shit. Off of St. Barnabas Road. Off, uh, bro, off of... I was in St. Barnabas Church damn near every week, bro. Crazy, bro. On St. Barnabas Road, bro. I used to hate Ma- that shit Ma- so much Bro because Pike. I knew I couldn't tell nobody about my life. Stop, bro. Stop. Ma- Ma- Bro Pike. <laughs> he get on my fucking nerves, son. It's some more. I can't even think of that shit, bro. I don't even want to go back to the DMV now. <laughs> bro, that shit annoying, like, off of fucking Marlboro Pike and St. Barnabas Road. Like, that shit sound Marlboro like... Marlboro Pike. Why is that shit famous? Like, it's just like... it's They, they made of that shit sound... Of course we typical. <laughs> so why why this shit famous? Like, what the fuck? Yo, of course we got a typical Martin Luther King Highway. Oh, yeah. MLK Martin Luther King Highway. Oh, of course it's fucking fucked up over there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Think about this. What is what does seat pleasant mean? <laughs> seat pleasant. I only know seat pleasant because of go go music. That's the whole thing. When I first heard about seat pleasant, I didn't know about that shit till they Bruh, said. I only know about seat, seat pleasant because I used to fuck somebody over uh, it, and it was not good. It was just a bad situation. I'm crying. I can't even talk about it on the pod because she gonna fucking go ham. I know she gonna go ham. Nah, it's the only gotta say her name. Everybody over there go ham, bro. I'm not even going to tell that story, bro, because she's going to go ham just for me saying the story. Like, she ain't going to get that. She don't know what a podcast is because she's oh, from yeah. fucking Seat Pleasant, yeah, bro. That's what I'm trying seat. to tell you. Like, she it's Seat Pleasant. It's some Seat Pleasant. Like, they... like Seat Pleasant. Bruh, I swear to God, bro. I used to walk to get that pussy, and it was just like not worth it. It was so fucking hood over there. I was like, I'm going to die before I even get there, I'm or crying. I'm going to die trying to leave. <laughs> Oh, hell nah. That shit not worth it. <laughs> Fucking that shit not walk worth a it. meal and shit. Like. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. Let me tell you. Let me see if you know what this is. Brandy wine. Brandy wine. That's fucking fine, bro. Chill, bro. You got to calm down, bro. That, that was one of them. That was one of them. I got to calm down. <laughs> That was one of them, bro. Brandywine Road, like Brandywine Road, up a up. Look, up a Marlboro, the borough. Niggas used to call it the borough. I was like, when we start Marlboro, calling it the like, borough, niggas like, I'm up the borough, up the borough. Like that sounds like some gay shit. I'm crying, not up the borough. I done lived in every fucking hood in Maryland, bro. Like I done lived in, I except for Seat Pleasant, I don't know. I Suitland, Oxen Hill. Fucking I hate Suitland, bro. I love Suitland, but I hate Suitland. Suitland, Suitland, see, Suitland is full of niggas who come at you. Like, they come at you. Yeah. Like, Suitland, you can't just walk through Suitland. Like, shit. Like, you can't just walk through Suitland. Like, I remember Suitland, bro. I used to, like, hate that that stop on the train because it's always a nigga who gonna fucking come up to you and say some shit like, what's up with you, man? What? Leave me alone, bro. I got my headphones. Are you still talking to me? Like, shit. Like, leave me alone, bro. Bruh. Like, I knew I, when I was at Suitland, bro, I would just find a spot in the back. And I'm like, I'm not trying to deal with no niggas, bro. Not nah, for real, bro. That's how it was. Even Suitland. But this is the thing about the DMV, bro. We got some beautiful ass women out there, bro. Nah, facts. That's the, that's, that is the so main So it's part. like, that's the shit that keep niggas in the DMV, nah, I swear to God, that's the main be part because they, 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 they bad. They look good. They all for the taking too, though. They, like they uh-huh. all for the taking. Like you know, you could do something like, to get, get every girl. You can get them. Like they, you can really <laughs> just get them easy, though. No, he didn't call every girl the DMV easy. Bro, you gonna have a lot of gotta, smoke to deal with. <laughs> all you gotta do is say, "Yeah, you drive like nice, like." <laughs> Yo, he said they. All, all you gotta you do gotta is go, is. go smack. <laughs> Stop. Stop! Well, I ain't never. I ain't DMV know. Slack. I ain't know what that meant until I got out of the DMV. Oh, go smack! Like go smack! Adam. You didn't know what that meant. Like I know what it meant. Like yeah, I knew what it meant to go smack at her. Like smack, but then like oh, that's why they call it go smack because you going smack at her. Like I'm crying. What's up bro. with him? 
What's up with NASCAR, y'all? Because they don't set out Look, here. The rea- they, they say holla. Or they say, like, oh, yeah, you trying to holla at her. Mm-hmm. Look, look, look. This, this, is, this is what I say. This is what I, this is what I figured out. <sighs> this nigga, bro, about to blow your mind. Go ahead. This is what I just remembered, and I want to say it on the pod. let we'll see, see how it affects you. <laughs> oh, Marlo shit. Heights. Tell, bro, I'm about to get off. <laughs> Look, look. Bladensburg. Bla- Blade. Come on. He's talking about some Marlowe Heights. Like, you know, I went to Bladensburg High, bro. You know, I went you to there. Hell yeah, I went there, bro. I had a lot of... Bro. Mm. The girls that was at Blade, bro, they was they was on go, but they had emotional problems, so all they would let you do is finger them. They I'm wouldn't crying. let you fuck. It's all like middle school. Yeah. They let you finger them, and then they'll get nervous, or, and then they'll like, like they'll be too insecure to really go with you. Like they was yeah. not trying to date you. Like Blade, shit. bro, was full of hoes. Blade is hoes, hoes central. That's like crazy. it ain't no, I ain't know one girl in there that was a real quality girl to be with. They was all fucking hoes, and I'm not saying hoes for life. Uh-huh. They was hoes when they was at Blade. It was not trying to That shit crazy. It was not trying to do Nothing serious that blade Cause that's the whole thing Like that's the whole thing About Cali school Is like yo They had to put None of that going on Like it was like Nobody fucking In the bathroom To do none of that It was just school bro. Just school And I remember Niggas getting Head in school Like Like what Like niggas Is fucking in the bathroom Like why is niggas Doing that in school Like we can get school Like they fucking In the bathroom Who are their parents To the way they know About all of that t- that's what I was saying. <laughs> I, th- I don't know if this is true. I think you told me this. Damn. So she was giving. She was giving. She was giving. She was exclusive behind the scene content all on Patreon today at KKN Media or search Rondo the Kid on Patreon. Thank you.